guess what? We have early access to the new stuff pack. This has been a really exciting week for me. <laughs> I fully thought, well, I didn't just think. They told us there was going to be no early access to this pack. And then yesterday they were like, oh, here you go. Early access to the pack. So I was under the impression there would be no early access content and we would just be streaming with this tomorrow, but we're allowed to stream with it today. So hi, <laughs> welcome in. We're gonna play a little bit of the Home Chef Hustle Pack, which will be really fun. I thought we could try and build like a small house, like a little starter home sort of vibe, um, and then play with the new stuff. That was kind of my plan for, for the beginning of the stream. So I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> um, I also just got back from taking Snap to the vet. Um, she's okay. She just had a follow up after her dental surgery last two weeks ago, two weeks ago. She also had like a cyst removed from her back and they took the stitches out and put like some cream on it. And it looks really disgusting. It was healing, but now it looks worse than before because <laughs> they took the stitches out and there's like cream on it. So it just looks, icky <laughs> so i won't make you see it but yeah snap she doesn't look her best today her back's all shaved and she's got anyway so <laughs> um she's okay but gross gross and she was crying on the way home from the vet because she doesn't like being in the car and it was just like a whole thing but she's okay we're home now everything's fine <laughs> and we get to play with the new pack which will be fun um oh oh one moment hold on everybody <clears throat> one second let me just really quickly Get, create a new browse. Um, today's stream is brought to you by the EA Creator Network. <laughs> um, yeah, we got early access to the pack thanks to the EA Creator Network. Um, so we get to play with the new pack today. <laughs> so. I was just inside of the sea and that was it. We don't need to have that on this screen. But we get to play with the Home Chef, Home Chef Hustle Pack because they gave me an early code. Just a quick disclaimer, I'm obviously not being paid to do this. I was literally just given a code and it's a $10 stuff pack. So if you honestly believe that $10 can buy my opinion, well, frankly, that's offensive, but <laughs> you, we all know we're on the same page, right? They, they gave me a code, but you know, <laughs> it's $10 stuff pack. So <laughs> um, we get to play the new stuff, which will be fun. So anyway, let me show you my sim. I made this sim. Um, her name is L Baker and she's a baker. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, a really clever last name picking from me, uh, you know, <laughs> so I thought we could play with her. Um, and I put her on this empty lot in Copperdale, um, cause I wanted to build a little house for us and then have like a food stand in front for us to sell our stuff at. So really creative. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my God. And then we have one other extremely important thing to discuss. You guys are actually not going to believe this. So yesterday, Peppa Pig announced that they have a big announcement coming today. Big announcement is what Peppa said. All right. It was like on Pop Crave, everybody was talking about Peppa Pig's big announcement. Honestly, this is a bigger announcement than I was anticipating. In the crossover event of the century, Peppa Pig is so excited to announce that Katy Perry is going to voice a character in Peppa Pig in a special next year. <laughs> so, Peppa Pig sweet treats? <laughs> what, what the heck? What the heck? Um, so this made me laugh a lot when I saw that, and I thought that you would all enjoy to hear about this. <laughs> uh, obviously referencing the greatest Sims pack of all time, Katy Perry Sweet Treats. Um, and the, the worst thing of all time, Peppa Pig <laughs> crossover. It's very weird though. This, this I never anticipated. I thought that when they were going to announce some Peppa Pig thing, I thought that it might be like, I don't know, a movie? I, I, I just, I don't really know what I expected it to be, but it wasn't Katy Perry. Why did Katy say yes to this? I don't know. I don't know. Isn't this a really weird collab? I mean, to be fair, if, if Peppa Pig asked me to do a collab, I probably would, would say yes. But like, did, 
did like Peppa reach out to Katie's team? Like, I just, I would love to know how this came about. How much money was exchanged? Do they have a lot? I mean, Peppa's big, right? She's got budget, right? Does Katie have a kid? Maybe. Oh, she does have a kid. Oh, maybe her kid's a fan of Peppa Pig. Oh, that makes more sense. I bet the kid likes Peppa. I don't think I knew she had a kid. Good for her. Anyway. <laughs> the Sims. <laughs> Back to the Sims. I'm gonna try and read some stuff really quickly too and then we can start building, okay? Um, hey, Elena and Rosie and H and Josh and Pink and Star, Cat, Maddie, uh, Sea Girl and Cutie and Windy, Bee, Natalie, Unicorn, Wing, Strawberry, Daisy, Lady, thank you for the subs. Just a thing with the gifted subs. Um, we also have Manchella and Melanie and Phobia and Sammy. Um, we got Isis and Lily and Oxu and Kai and H and Natalia and Elizabeth and Just a Thing and Sammy and Giraffe and Avery and Kings and Elena. How much did I miss? Julia, thank you for the gifted subs, by the way. Thank you so much. I'm sorry, you guys. I was talking about Peppa too much and I didn't, I'm not caught up. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> Let me just text my dad back really quick. Um, and then, oh, oh, the other update. This is kind of sad, okay? But I'll tell you anyway. <laughs> so I got to the vet, right, with Snappy, because um, she had to like get a follow up after her dental exam, dental surgery, whatever. I get there and I happen to arrive at the exact same time as my dad because my dad was there to pick up Pogi's ashes. <laughs> we literally got there at the exact same time, like the exact same time, we both pulled up at the same time. And he goes in and I'm waiting in the car cause they like, they text you when you get there or you text them when you get there and they come in to your car. So you wait in your car instead of in the lobby cause of COVID, all this, anyway. Um, <laughs> I watch my dad come out and he has like this little blue gift bag. <laughs> It looks like a goodie bag or like a like a present. But I know, I know that Pogi's ashes are in there. And I mean, like, what are, what are you gonna put him in? I guess it's nice that it's a little blue gift bag, but like, it looks like he's holding a goodie bag. <laughs> it's Pogi's ashes. Ah! Anyway, so that was a sort of strange emotional experience. Um, but yeah. <laughs> it's been a weird day. It's been a weird week. Everything is just weird, so. That's kind of weird. Well, yeah, but like the alternative is what? He's just in a plat. I mean, he's in a plastic, sorry, this is really gross, but he's in a plastic bag inside of the blue bag. At least my dad didn't just walk out holding the plastic bag of ashes clear for everyone to see. You know? Here, look. <laughs> so they put it in a nice bag. It's better. It's better than the alternative. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> that was a little weird for me <laughs> to timing was just not good. But anyway, um, let's play the Sims, right? Better news? <laughs> Better news with the Sims. <laughs> Spencer, thanks for the sub. Jess with the gifted subs. Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you so much. Okay, so you all uh, maybe have not seen because I only posted it a little bit ago, but I did post a review video on YouTube of the full pack. So I, I went over like everything in the, in the review video, all the stuff that comes in the pack. So if you're curious about that sort of thing, um, we can watch that. But what I think I want to start off by doing is, is just working on a small build. I kind of would like to, um, build some sort of little starter home size house for the Sim to play in so that we can see the new kitchen stuff, um, and, and all that sort of thing. But anyway, didn't infants get a hat? Did the infants get a hat? Well, I didn't see that. I wouldn't know. I, to be honest, I assume there's something for infants. Maybe I missed it. Okay. Well, anyway, I'm gonna start building, I think. Lag? Uh-oh, hopefully not me. <laughs> Stitch, thank you for the 10 gifted subs. Thank you so much. Um, okay. The stream stopped. Someone else said I didn't lag. I think it's a Twitch problem, you guys. Twitch has been having issues, like not me, but Twitch has been having issues. So it might be like in general, a sort of Twitch problem. Um, but yeah, what are you building? Well, we're gonna build a tiny, tiny little house for my Sim so we can look at the new kitchen stuff, okay? And then we can start playing with the pack. But I wanted to see the new kitchen stuff. And this is Copperdale. I'll show you from the map. Oh my goodness, this is Copperdale. It's the world that comes with high school years. It's one of the, this was a starter home by default in the, in the world. Um, okay. Um, it's over here. 
this lot in Copperdale. Does that make sense? Never seen it? Well, good. <laughs> now you get to see it. That's fun. Um, but yeah, I like, I like this lot in Copperdale. I think that this makes sense for like our combination community lot home. Because we're going to be a home baker, but we're also going to have like Sims coming here to buy stuff from our food stand. So I think it kind of... I think it kind of makes sense to be here. It just, it looks like it's kind of in public. So we can have the food stand sort of in the front and maybe put some tables out by it. And then we can have our house in the back corner. That's what I was picturing at least. <laughs> that was my, uh, my vision for it. <laughs> there are some pre-built rooms in the pack. Do you really want to see those instead of me just starting to build? Okay, here's one. It's a kitchen. Um, it looks like that. And there's also this one, which I can't afford because it's 18,000 simoleons. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Josie, thank you for the gift and subs, by the way. Thank you so much. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I think that, um, I don't know what style of this I want to use. Maybe I'll use this cute pink and blue one because it kind of matches our vibes. I think that could be good. Maybe we could get some little outdoor tables too. I have this vision. I don't think the Sims, well, I know <laughs> based on my experimenting, the Sims don't really sit down at the tables, but we can pretend that they will and we'll think it's cute if we have some tables for them to sit at while they eat, right? Am I playing on the new PC? <laughs> no, I don't have a new PC. I don't have a new computer, Nicoletta. I have a new monitor screen. Um, so it's, it's just like a screen. My computer is a big box over here. This is a screen. They're separate. So, um, anyway. <laughs> uh, I did not, I did not get a, a whole new PC though. Um, maybe these should be light blue. May wait, maybe they could be blue and pink. We could do like light blue on half and pink on the other half. That's a cute combo, right? Okay, that seems good. That seems good. Sad they don't sit. Yeah, I mean, I guess it kind of makes sense because it's like, like with the pizza slices, they're like grabbing a slice and holding it and eating it and stuff, which I guess kind of, that's not abnormal, but it would be nice if they would sit. <laughs> I agree, but oh well. That's not really how it works. <laughs> they don't sit down, but we can still kind of put one there so we can pretend. I don't know if I want my Sim to make pizza or if I want them to make waffles. So maybe I'll buy one of each and then we can do both. Right? Can you maybe swap it? I feel like this one makes more sense for the, so that's the pizza oven and that's the waffle maker. Okay, pizza and waffles. <laughs> Ash, thank you all for the subs, everybody. Okay. Um, maybe? So, like I said, I think our house is gonna be really small. I'm doing this mostly just so that we can, like, have a kitchen to decorate. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I'm, I'm mostly just building this so that we can decorate a kitchen, um, so that we can, like, play with the new stuff and, and look at the new furniture and everything. <laughs> we don't really need a new kitchen or a full house, I guess. I could have just played it in a base game one, but it'll be more fun to make something. Can you sell popcorn and ice cream too? Um, probably. I don't know if that's a good idea though, because they're not worth that much. Like, like realistically, it's probably better to focus more on selling the stuff that's a little bit pricier, because then you get more money. But you can sell pretty much, you can sell drinks, like you can sell all that stuff. I just don't know if I would, because I don't think it's going to be worth that much money. But you could have a little ice cream stand. Maybe the popcorn would be worth money, I don't know. I didn't really mess with that. I was too excited about the new stuff to be messing with old stuff. Um, I don't know. Did Jessie sell popcorn in her review? That makes sense. Yeah, I didn't really, I didn't really mess with the popcorn. I was like so uninterested in the old stuff. <laughs> that I um, I did I did sell some ambrosia, uh, which was very fun. My sim made eighty thousand simoleons selling ambrosia, but that that's a base game thing, obviously. You could kind of make your own ice cream parlor if you wanted to that way. You can kind of pretend, I guess. Might be cute. 
Um, eh. I don't really know what I want the floor plan to look like either. I'm picturing the kitchen will go here. This will be the bedroom. It's kind of small, but it doesn't need to be big. And then we'll have a little bathroom and a small living space. That'll be fine. That will be fine. Cute. Can we see all the stand swatches? Yeah, I can I can show you them again. Just bear with me, you guys, because um, to a certain extent, I love you and I want to show you everything, but I also don't want to show people the things, the same stuff, like, 15 times. So I'm going to show it again now, but I, I probably won't show this again later, okay? Just if you, like, just, you know what I mean? Because <laughs> it is it is visible um, elsewhere and stuff, but they're kind of cute. I like this pink and blue one best. I know, blue, but actually, what I, my favorite color isn't even blue. Just seems like it, because all my things are blue. But this is cute. <laughs> Uh, Candy Simi Spook, thank you for the subs. Okay, it's purple. My favorite color isn't purple though, Shella. I like green and I like pink, but I, I really, I probably wouldn't say purple. Sorry. <laughs> so sorry. <laughs> Okay, um, let me look. We might have to cheat for some money, but that's okay. I don't really mind. Here's the new kitchen set. Are you joking? Look at how cute this is. I, that's true, Christine. I did specifically call out the yellow cabinets in the video that I posted today as something that I liked. But don't tell Shella that, because she'll get mad. <laughs> um, maybe I'll do the kitchen like this. One of my favorite parts of this pack, this is so silly, but if you play a lot of Sims, you'll understand. Do you see how this fridge completely fills up the tile? And how the fridge isn't like that far off the wall and like that far away from the counter? This is life changing. When you compare this to all of the other fridges in this stupid game, look at how, look. You see how it's not touching the wall in any direction and you have to kind of like alt place it? So annoying. If I wanted to, I could have this be right in the middle and it would fit in. This is such a small detail, but this is huge for me. Like genuinely huge for me. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Sim Steve. I'm so relieved. It's so much better this way. This kitchen is really small. I guess the house is really small. Oh, here's something else kind of weird, but I think you might like this. Because the the dishwasher is like compact intentionally, it doesn't go all the way to the, the full counter like some of the other ones do. It's kind of cool because you can put it in some places, like maybe if I wanted to, I could put it over here. And it's not like completely filling the whole counter, so there's still some cabinets. Isn't that really interesting? It's annoying that you can't switch which, si which side it is on, but... um. I still like it. <laughs> Should this be a whole tile wider or no? Maybe a little bigger is better. But isn't that so cute? Does it fit on end pieces? Ooh, I don't know. Let's find that out. No, because it still takes up a whole tile. Do you see that? With the square? It just looks like it doesn't. That would be too cool. <laughs> I don't think it'll fit on either end piece, friends. Um, I don't, I don't, cause it doesn't. It would be nice. Oh, let's look at what it looks like on other counters. I don't really, I haven't tested that. It looks kind of weird on some, I suppose. It really depends on what the counter looks like. Cause some of them are gonna, You know, that one's doable. It's not ideal. What does it look like on this? That's interesting. I like that. It'll look good on like the dream home decorator ones too. That'll be fine. Well, maybe not good, but fine. <laughs> or maybe these base game ones, that's fine. Yeah, it's just, a, it's kind of weird. Um, 
I'm not mad about it though. I don't really need it to work on other counters. I mostly just, I like it for very specific, very small circumstances. Like you're not gonna use it in a big giant kitchen. You're gonna use it in small spaces like this, so. More contemporary looking ones in general. Is the new fridge smaller than the others? Well, it's shorter, but it's not smaller. It's actually bigger because it fills a whole tile. But it fits in really well. Oh yeah, this will look good on like the flat sides of island counters too, the dishwasher. That's smart. You'd probably use it on a lot of the islands. Like for example, look at the base game ones. Like that, the back of the base game one is completely flat. So you could put that and have the dishwasher on the island if you wanted. It's kind of cool. Anyway, the fridge is a little bit shorter, which is better, significantly better, because you can actually put cabinets above it. Otherwise, before, with all the other fridges in the game, it, that's not the right counter. <laughs> with all the other fridges in the game, um, you have to be kind of uh, sneaky about that. <laughs> it's kind of annoying. Um, but they, they don't fit, like the counters don't fit on top of the fridges. Like for example, this one, you see how it's clipping? You have to raise the thing up. It's so annoying. This one actually fits, which is such a, such a relief. I also like this new sink a lot. I like how it has like the the racks and stuff. What is that corner piece? It's the corner piece of the cabinet. I don't know how I feel about this. Cause on one hand, I really like that we have a corner shelf now, but it, there isn't like a corner cabinet. The corner cabinet is a shelf. So that's interesting, I guess. <laughs> um, but yeah, the corner piece is the shelf. And there's shelves that match it. These are the same color, it's just the lighting. So that part's kind of annoying too, but I guess it's not a surprise. <laughs> it's always like that. Yeah, I don't know. It's cool for stuff like this because we can like extend the shelf out and add some stuff to it. But it is kind of strange. I wish that we had both. Like if we had a corner piece and the corner cabinet, but oh well. Um, I don't know what I want. Maybe we could get a little bar stool. I like these kind of. I think I might use a different color kitchen or maybe I will use this color kitchen. Extend the other direction, what the kitchen? No, I, I want the kitchen to be quite small on purpose. This dishwasher being on the other end of the room is so inconvenient. <laughs> so inconvenient. Pink kitchen? Oh, there's not a pink. Well, I guess there is a pink swatch. Never mind. Sorry, I lied to you. It's kind of like a pinky beige. I don't know if I want to use that. I'm not really sure. Maybe I will. It's a nice color. Okay, maybe I will. Never mind. I changed my mind. I'm going to use it. It's like a dusty pink. Cute. Um, we have a cute little cookbook. I like that. You're not a fan? What, of the pink? <laughs> okay. I thought it was nice. You know what? This actually might work really well. Like, really, really, really well for the peach generation of Not So Berry. Because it, it's not, like, completely peachy, but it is a little bit peachy. So we could definitely use that for the next generation. Interesting. Okay, I'll, I'll be doing that. I will be doing that. Let me get a little bowl. I can also put, do the spices not slot on there? I guess not. We'll try and decorate this nicely. Stack them up a little bit more too. Um, I have some knives. I find this knife block kind of scary. It's like really knifey. Okay. 
Anyway, I saw people asking what we're doing, um, so I'll just repeat myself. We're decorating a tiny little house. Emphasis on tiny little house. It's mostly kitchen, <laughs> so that we can try and play with the new the new pack and mess with the new stuff. So uh, it's not going to be like the biggest house or anything like that. <laughs> um, we're just going to mostly focus on the new stuff. No, Mia, the corner shelf and the regular shelf are not a different color. They're the same color, but it's the Sims 4. So lighting on things, you kind of see how the top of the cabinets looks weird too. It's the Sims 4, so lighting is kind of weird. Yeah, I just closed out of my list of alerts. <laughs> Kayla, <laughs> I was trying to move it over and I closed it. <laughs> Hold on, let me reopen it. Hold on. Okay. I got it fixed. It's fine. It is fine. All right. Oh, Kayla! <laughs> Speaking of Kayla's. Hi, Kayla. How are you doing? We're messing with the new pack. We're, um, we're kind of exploring with the new, the new pack. Checking out some of the new stuff. I think I'll make this base game and the new pack exclusive. So that way more of you can download it if you want to. Hopefully you had a good stream. Were you also playing with this pack? I assume so. Yeah, the plain shelf has lights under it too. You see that? There's lights underneath all of it. It's kind of cool. Um, okay, I might pick the tile quickly too before I forget. I'm so all over the place. I don't even know what I'm doing right now. <laughs> I'm just so excited. That's a kit. Home Chef Hustle. Can you use the dishwasher under the sink? Um, no, the problem with that with like any of the sinks uh, and putting the dishwasher under it is the dishwasher is because the sink like cuts into the counter and the dishwasher goes to the top of the counter. So anytime you try and do that, it doesn't really work. Kind of like in real life, you'd have to have a small dishwasher that's a bit lower to do that because the dishwasher is tall. Does that make sense? It definitely happens um, in real life sometimes, but uh, not here. <laughs> not in this particular build, unfortunately. Okay. Do I know if the counters will work off the grid? Like, because of the lights? Bestie, I haven't got a clue if these counters are going to add to your bills. <laughs> I don't think that they will, um, because you can't turn them on and off. They're, like, decorative, the lights. So I can only guess that, um, I don't know. I've never, I've never tried that. I don't really have any desire to make this off the grid either. <laughs> I guess we can check. Um... Oh, interesting. The upper cabinet ones are still on a little bit, but the bottom ones aren't. Yeah, exactly, pick, right? Like, in real life, the sink would need more space for the drains and stuff. So, they're, like, battery-powered. <laughs> they're battery-powered. Is the house bigger than Tiny Lot? I don't know. No, it's 56 tiles. So we can keep it a tiny house. Mrs. B, Sterling, Spam, Mel, Snake, thank you for the subs, everybody. This pack comes out tomorrow, Asterin. It comes out tomorrow. Um, but we have early access to it, so we can play with it a little bit today. Madison, we're gonna play with it, okay? You guys, I promise we're gonna play with it. I have to build a kitchen first. <laughs> we can't play if we have nothing to play in. <laughs> we are gonna play with it, okay? <laughs> I just, I wanted to decorate a kitchen first. Um, okay, I was gonna make this base game in the new pack only, I think. Um, I think maybe we could get a little thingy like that. Maybe I'll use the counters in here too. That could be kind of cute. Everyone's just excited to see gameplay, I get it. <laughs> but I'm also excited to build, so bear with me. What pack, you're out of the loop? The new Home Chef Hustle stuff pack. Is the title not clear? That's not like a dig at you. That's an honest question. <laughs> is that not, is it not clear in the title? Um, okay. I think that's cute. I think that is lovely. There's not really a lot of clutter in this pack that is good for uh, not the kitchen. <laughs> Everything is very, very kitchen. So we can't really use most of this stuff outside of the kitchen. Like, what am I going to do? Put some plates in here? <laughs> oh, you know what I didn't get? There is like a really cute dish drying rack, but because I put the sink over here, I don't know if we can use it. 
like, what am I gonna do? Put the dish drying rack over here? No, that makes no sense. <laughs> that makes absolutely no sense. We do have this item, which I think is kind of cool. Maybe I could use that. Little shelf. Maybe the dish drying rack could go on this wall then. That might be okay. There's so much light in here. Does the shelf look weird? I don't know. Swap dishwasher and sink. No, I'm not gonna do that because the dishwasher is visible on the end. You see that? Horrible. So no, <laughs> I, I won't be doing that, I'm sorry. The shelf is a light, yeah. They're in they're classed in the light category, so they do light up a little bit. Um Let me get this. About the stand mixer. We're gonna put the stand mixer and stuff in here. I just hadn't really added that yet because I was still decorating. I'm kind of jumping around a lot. We can add that stuff in right now. I did put um I did put a pizza oven and the waffle maker outside, and we don't have a lot of counter space in here, so I was thinking about only having the stand mixer inside. I don't know what you all think about that, but I feel like because of our limited counter space, we probably should. I don't know. You would change the sink with the stove. I, I can't put the stove there, friend. It's an island counter. That's that's just how The Sims 4 works, unfortunately. <laughs> I like the kitchen layout. I, I um, I'm no, not taking any further uh, criticisms of the kitchen at this time. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep the kitchen how it is so that we can move on, okay? Otherwise, we're gonna be here all day. Said said with love. <laughs> said with love. I'm just gonna keep it how it is, though, for now. So that way we can actually uh, make some more progress on it. Alright. I'm trying to keep it base game and the new pack only. So that way, if any of you want to download it, you can. So I'll, I'll try and limit stuff a little bit in here. We're not really building this for like a building experiment. We're mo mostly building this just so we can play with it. So it's okay. It's okay. Um, I don't know. Um, texting Dan back. Sorry, everyone. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Did I play any gameplay? Not in the last 20 minutes or so yet, Chaotic Whims, but we will. We have to make a house that we can play with first. <laughs> we can't play unless we have a place to play in. So I wanted to mess with some of the new items so that we could try and see what it, we can do with it, and then we'll play with it in a second. The house isn't very big, so it's not going to take a long time to furnish. Oh my god, why are Dad and Dan are both spam texting me right now? Sorry, everyone. Not about a big thing at all. It's just they're asking me a question about a sofa. <laughs> I'm busy! <laughs> I'm streaming! It's okay. Anyway, in these early, early access streams, we try and look at everything, so bear with me, you guys. <laughs> we will get to gameplay. <laughs> this is the high school years world. Yeah, one bullet is. Um... My plates! Oh, I hate this. When you stack them, it like, this happens with the other stackable plates too. They like delete constantly. Um... No, they're not shopping for a sofa. They are together trying to move a sofa. <laughs> and they're asking me questions about what to do with it. <laughs> And where it should go and all what it's not a problem. It's not even moving far. It's like such a why are you asking me this? I'm streaming. Men. Okay. Um Oh, how about this? Ew. How about ew? Maybe this bed. Okay. I like that. That's nice. And then maybe we could get a little nightstand next to it. I was gonna have this be a starter home. Isn't that kind of funny to think about now that we've built this? <laughs> it was gonna be a starter home. This isn't even close to being a starter home. I don't know what I was thinking. Is that a new swatch? No, that swatch has been there this whole time, ever since the game first came out. Um, that is, in fact, not a new swatch on the bed. It's an upgraded starter home with an extremely expensive kitchen, yeah. Um, we 
can get a cute light. That might be nice. This is gonna be good. Um, Jay, the kitchen items are definitely not cheap, which I think makes sense for this stuff. Like, it's kind of higher end. Like, the fridge is 2300 I always use this fridge. It's 2600 so it's not that bad. Um, it's food quality 9, so it's also really good compared. Like, the other one that's closest in price is food quality 7, so it's a pretty decent fridge um, for the price. The stove is quite expensive. The stove is $32.50, but it's also better than one that's very similar in price. Um, and the counters, uh, comparatively, they're $280, so they're a little bit cheaper than these base game counters if you're used to using these. I didn't really expect them to be a cheap counter set. I, I thought that these things were... Uh, this is, like, about how I would have priced it, I think. Sort of mid-range, slightly pricier, which makes sense. I feel like for the style, right? Um, okay. Um, I think maybe in here, I guess there's a lot of just green happening, huh? Maybe I'll just use that. Get rich quick someday. What with the pack? Tomorrow. <laughs> someday is tomorrow. I'm going to post a video doing that tomorrow on YouTube. I already filmed it. I filmed that today before I filmed the review. So, yes. <laughs> yes, indeed. It was kind of fun. I like one of my more favorite uh, Stanley Humphrey videos, if I'm being honest with you. I think one part of this that is disappointing to me is the fact that there isn't any artwork for the walls. I know that the build stuff is very focused on like the kitchen furniture and not so much on like anything else but I kind of wish that there was artwork for the walls I think that part makes me kind of sad oh well oh well what's the name of the new pack it's called home chef hustle and it comes out tomorrow but I have early access to it um today because EA gave it to me today <laughs> uh, well I got it actually I got it yesterday before I went live um but I you know could post with it today Um, cool. It is a tiny home, Straub. Yeah, I did make it a tiny home. I think that it being a tiny home is going to help us a little bit because we'll be able to get some extra money or some extra skill bonuses and stuff from it, right? All the pink is really, really a lot. I don't know if I can bring this. Building with just the base game for stuff like this is always kind of hard. I guess this should be fine. Maybe I can make that a light blue. No, I, actually I like the gray better. Oh, this is difficult. <laughs> I don't know. We're almost done, you guys, don't worry. Didn't realize how many rugs were in the base game. You know what's funny, Spicy? I was just thinking, I didn't realize, I, well, no, I knew. I always think about how few rugs it feels like there are in the base game. <laughs> so it's really funny that you had the opposite thought. You were like, well, there's so many. While I was sat here like, well, there's none. <laughs> it's okay. The base game is kind of hard sometimes with stuff like that. No watermark? I have a watermark. It's right there. What do you mean? I thought it was pretty noticeable because it was right above my head. Oh, maybe you mean the watermark bopping around. Oh, oh, okay. Let me explain that quickly. You know, when I have uh, access to a pack and in my videos, there's like my name moving around on the screen and it's very annoying. That is not normal. <laughs> that is a post COVID thing. Um, when they stopped flying people to play the packs early in person, and tried to give people early access, like special early access, way earlier than they can give early access like this. So they made like a separate version of the game that they call a CFE build, and that has a watermark. So the reason that that um, this is different, for example, and the reason they have to do that is because we can't get early access to this stuff pack, say, until after the patch comes out, because it won't work unless the patch is out. Um, 
But so the patch came out yesterday and we could get a code yesterday because it would work since the patch came out. But when they do early access to those expansion packs with the watermark thing, that's because it's like extra early access, pre, pre, pre the patch being released. So voice doesn't match with video, black screen. Oh God, it's Twitch. It's not even my end, it's Twitch. I'm sorry, you guys, I can't do anything about it. It's Twitch that's doing that. Um, but yeah, the patch obviously came out yesterday. So that's why they were able to um, have us have this early access today. Does that make sense? Okay. Um, yeah, I don't know why it's doing that. I haven't dropped a single frame. Everything's fine on my end. All right, let me get quickly, I guess I'll use this same wallpaper again. Maybe in just like a nice plain color. Well, Mel, it has been a, it's been like a known problem on Twitch for the past few days. So it's not necessarily their, their end. Um, it might be a Twitch problem because it's been happening in like a lot of people's streams all week. Very annoying timing for it to be doing that <laughs> considering the, the day that today is, but. Oh, that's a good question. Someone asked if we have built-in trash cans in the U.S. and they wish that The Sims had added that today. Um, we do, we do have them in the U.S. Um, not super commonly. It's not like everybody's house has that. Some people's houses have that. I, when I renovated my kitchen, I put in one. Um, so like there's a cabinet um, that next to the sink that like when I open it, there's a trash can in it. Um, it's not like everybody's house has that though. I, growing up, I never had that. <laughs> uh, that's a very recent, and in my opinion, very fancy addition to my life. Um, but it would be cool if they added a thing like that into The Sims, I agree. Um, I guess that making a new appliance like that, that I suppose doesn't have that much gameplay functionality may not have been high priority for them with this pack. Um, Cause they were trying to focus on appliances like and animations for the actual kitchen stuff that you can cook with. Um, but that would be a cool concept maybe for a future pack. But I, I understand why they didn't do that in this because they were probably trying to prioritize stuff that has more of a change to gameplay, you know, like the waffle maker you can actually do stuff with, whereas that would just be a trash can. <laughs> It'd be cool, but it would still just be a trash can, no matter how you try and put it. Um, okay. You don't need to be rich to have one. Well, no, obviously not. <laughs> I'm just saying that in my personal life experience, those sorts of trash cans seem really fancy to me. Um, you might live in like a newer apartment and maybe they have one because it was more recently built. It's not like that uncommon. You could even DIY it if you wanted to and you had the cabinet space. But to me, based on my life, it seems very fancy to have one of those trash cabinets. <laughs> um, I don't know. Be proud that you have a thing that's deemed fancy. <laughs> okay. Um, let's get some cute little flowers. I think this might be all I'll do for now, to be honest. We'll get some pretty light pink swatches. Probably put a mailbox there. That's kind of weird. I don't know. Well, I don't know. Do I know what the Peppa Pig news is? Oh my God, I don't even know if you want me to tell you. Do you want me to tell you what it is? The big Peppa Pig news that was announced today, you guys are actually, if you haven't heard this, you're actually not gonna believe this. It sounds like a lie. The big Peppa Pig news that they announced is that Peppa Pig is collaborating with Katy Perry and she's gonna voice a character in a new Peppa Pig thing special that's coming out next year. I'm, I'm dead serious, not lying right now. That's the Peppa Pig news that they teased yesterday, is that they're collaborating with Katy Perry. I, you can't make this kind of stuff up. I'm dead serious. <laughs> Katy Perry is, she's involved in everything I love. Peppa Pig, The Sims 3. <laughs> this is Peppa Pig Sweet Treats and it's, it's on its way. Oh, I should get an outdoor trash can, I guess, probably. The lighting in this world is so ugly. Um, okay, I will probably add to this more as we earn some more money. But what I think I'm gonna do is put our money away and then try to um, start playing, yeah? Oh, 
Oh, that's very annoying. Hold on. We, I don't want to play like that. I need a different mirror. I'm sorry. I simply can't handle that for my gameplay. Do that one instead. Okay. <laughs> sorry. Yikes. Maybe some outdoor lighting? No, Lily, I'm not going to mess with that right now because I want to start playing. Um, we can add to it as she earns some more money. This was supposed to be a starter home. And then I made it like so not a starter home. All right, let me show you guys uh, this sim in cast really quick so that we can talk about it and then we can start actually playing. Um, so this is a sim that I have named L Baker. Baker, because she's going to bake. <laughs> Um, so she has she has the new uh, hairstyle. She, well, there's actually a handful of new hairstyles. Um, she has one of the new hairstyles. She's got the new tattoo. Look, her little. Well, I'll show you in a second. Her little earrings are knives. I don't know if you can see that. They're knives. You named your sim Ella Baker. Are you actually serious? Are you actually serious, Shella? Tell me you're being serious right now. The baker thing? I can see it. The- Oh, it's L, not Ella. Oh my god! <laughs> is Shella's name? Wait, my sim's name is L? Shella's name is- is Ella. That is so weird. What are the chances of that? Huh. I, you, Shella, you should keep it. Name your sim L, not Ella. And have them be the same name. And then don't address it when people ask. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Shark Hex, Savannah, thank you for the subs. So she's wearing this little apron. Um, I tried to give her, oh, I just closed it. I tried to give her some of the new clothes. She's wearing this blueberry shirt. Um, that's not new. The blueberry shirt, again. This is like a little fruit shirt. This is new. Um, that's not new. This is- you said that already. <laughs> and that's not new either. Anyway, the cast is not- to me, the cast isn't really, like, the biggest standout of this pack. And I don't mean that, like, in a bad way, necessarily. It's just that, like, it's not the star of the show. Like, the star of the show is the gameplay in the kitchen set. No one's gonna buy the pack because this is a cute shirt. It's a cute shirt, but no one's gonna buy the pack because it's a cute shirt. <laughs> so, there is a pink apron, yeah, but I um I wanted to use this swatch with the green because I kind of liked the color mix and matching. I guess I honestly didn't know there was infant stuff because when there was no toddler stuff, I assumed there was no infant stuff. This is the problem with like having to make these reviews and post these reviews and not being allowed to talk about it with anyone is that I don't, like, I, you, sometimes you miss a thing because no one's noticed it yet, and then you post a video and the comments are like, what is wrong with you? You missed this. But they have this same hat for adults. They have it for infants too, apparently. Um, and I've been told that infants have a onesie. Oh, that's nice. There you go. You can wear a little pizza outfit. So it's kind of cute. <laughs> Um, I'm glad they added a onesie. We, we always need more stuff for the infants. Um, but yeah, I honest, I didn't see that when I made the review. So, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> um, cute. Anyway, that's the sim. She is a foodie, outgoing, and self-assured, and she has one of the two new aspirations. She has the appliance ways aspiration. It's under the food category. There is also a new market magnet fortune aspiration, which basically wants to get rich from using that thing. Um, okay. Um, cool. Very, very, very cool. <laughs> I wasn't expecting two new aspirations, though. I, I was expecting one, I think. I wasn't expecting two, so that was kind of a fun bonus. Um, okay. Anyway, there is, a, there is a toddler hair, you guys, but that's not... When I say there isn't anything for toddlers, it's, it's one of the adult hairs. One of them converted for toddlers. I talked about it in my video. Um, it's, it's good, but it's not like that exciting. It's not like there's a bunch of new stuff, so. All right. Yay. <laughs> um, lovely. Thank you for the subs, both of you. I really appreciate that. Well, here's the aspiration. Um, it wants us to collect prepped ingredients, cook and stuff. I think what I'll start by doing, honestly, is just start- oh, I got 
extra money because I added that sim to my household. Let's just start by like, oh no, we know what we need to do. Wait, I have to, I have to cheat for some money again. I think that we should garden because part of this with the ingredient prep and stuff is that um, we're gonna want to use like actual plants around the place. So I think it might be cool for us to start growing some actual plants. We could have like some basil and stuff. I don't know. So we can use those things to cook with. Yes, yeah, even I did stack the plates. It's kind of cool how they can be stacked, right? I like that. I like that. All right, purchase seeds. Maybe I'll get fruits. I guess we need a bunch of everything, huh? Does the stand have to be outside? Is it possible to use it indoors? Um, I mean, yeah, you can put it indoors. I think it's a little bit easier outside though, just because it's quite big. Um, it's quite big and also uh, when sims come to visit it, there's like a lot of sims that, that crowd around it. So it's a little bit easier for you to have it outside because there's just more space for it. But you could definitely put it inside if you wanted to. Um, Hey, Shar, thank you for the raid. Welcome in. You caught us at a good time because we're, oh my god, it's not a good time. Ads just started playing. No, 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 no. That's so annoying. That's so annoying. Hopefully they're not in the ads because that absolutely sucks so bad. Um, well, <laughs> I was going to say we're about to start playing. We've spent a while uh, setting everything up today. And we're going to actually start playing in a minute, so it should be fun. Mushrooms. Plant. Hopefully, hopefully they're not stuck in ass. That's horrible timing. <laughs> horrible, 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 horrible timing. I'm not going to the Star Wars world, not today. Not today. All right, well, we have some extra fruits that we can use to hopefully prep, which will be good. And water, good. You don't have any ads? Yeah, not everyone gets ads. I don't really know how Twitch decides who to forcibly watch ads. If you're subbed, you won't ever get ads. But other than that, I can't control it. So <laughs> I'm sorry if you are the unlucky one. And if you are the lucky one, then there you go. Um, okay. Let's see about maybe starting to cook something simple for myself. Like I'll make some grilled cheese for my sim to eat. Good. <laughs> Good. Mrs. Chill, Echo Memes, Claire, thank you for the subs. And the ads should be done playing. Simsy the windows. What? I don't understand what you got. Hmm. That wasn't what you are trying to say, but... Oh my goodness! I can click on this to cook. Oh, that's cool. Well, there. The windows are on different levels. Oh, those ones? I don't really care. They're not on the same wall, so it doesn't really bother me. <laughs> I'm gonna leave them. I'm gonna leave them so that it bothers you more, because I actually like it better this way because they're floating above the paneling, and this is only here because of the roof in the front. It's doing that on this side too, but I don't really care. So if it bothers you, I'm gonna let it keep bothering you. <laughs> Everyone was really, really upset about that and like yelling. <laughs> and I didn't, I kept thinking that they were glitched or something, but nope. Okay. Um, maybe I will try. Maybe I will try to cook a couple more regular things before we start using the good stuff, just so that our skill's a bit higher, because then we'll have more options. Make some eggs and toast for yourself, friend. We'll try that. Improve the skills. Mina, Jelly, Echo, thank you for the subs. Oh my, Ash, please leave me alone. Block. <laughs> Block. <laughs> Gorgeous, thanks for the sub gift. No, Chrissy, I didn't put any lot traits. I guess I could if I wanted to. Um, it wouldn't hurt to get like the chef's kitchen one or something. I don't know. May as well. May as well. I did plant the produce. Yeah, I did. So it started. Blocking people when they call you is honestly kind of iconic. I respect it. <laughs> I would do the same. 
<laughs> Clever thing for the 14 months. Good soil, homie. Okay, we can put all the laundry so I'm never gonna stop. We're never gonna get out of build mode. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. This will help a little bit too. It's okay. It's okay. This wallpaper, uh, SP, this is from the new stuff pack that comes out tomorrow that we have early access to. I know that you guys mean well, but <laughs> bear with me. I wanna start playing. <laughs> Um, Clementine, okay, <laughs> so I posted a video like three hours ago that was supposed to go up today um, And then I accidentally had a video go live that I had scheduled for today that I meant to unschedule Because um, I didn't know that we were going to get early access because they told me we weren't going to get early access And then we did get early access So I had a video for today that wasn't the stuff pack video that was up for 60 seconds <laughs> So yes, it's supposed to be private because I'm gonna post it this weekend instead. It was two minutes It was up for two minutes <laughs> This whole week has been so- I've had a really bad two weeks, to be honest. I'm so stressed out. I'm like, my brain isn't thinking straight. I totally forgot I had scheduled it because obviously they told me I wasn't getting early access and then they changed their minds, but anyway, it's okay. It's all fine. So you're going to watch the video on Saturday, I think, is when I'm going to post it for real. <laughs> it wasn't supposed to go up. All right, we can prep ingredients. We can prep ingredients. So the way this works basically um, is you can use the mixer to prep ingredients and then you will use those prepped ingredients to cook faster for other things. So like, for example, if you wanted to make pizza, you could prep some dough and then you would have the dough already and then the pizza would cook faster is the way that it works. Um, and you also can use that for a lot of things. Even some of the regular recipes that aren't on like the pizza oven or the the uh, waffle maker. Like for example, the garden salad, if you have prepped veggies, it reduces the cooking time. So it kind of changes the, uh, the ingredient requirements for a lot of stuff. Like cupcakes require batter instead of like flour and sugar or whatever, um, which is really cool, right? Like it, uh, it sort of changes the vibes a little bit. So if you wanted to, to play like on purpose and, and actually make all the stuff, um, you'll have to, to use those things and make some extra things before you start. Um, but we can start actually prepping some stuff because I think I'd like to make some pizza. So I'll start prepping some dough. And then you can also use ingredients that you have. So like you can use, I have vegetables in my inventory. I can use these and then turn them into prepped vegetables and then cook with those prepped vegetables, which is cool. And then also she just turns it on and then walks away. Easy. <laughs> um, and you can disable it. Yeah, there's check marks that you can turn it off if you want to which is kind of cool. But yeah, they can walk away and it says one minute until it's ready and then you can just come back and get it when it's done. So you can just let the mixer mix and then grab it when it's finished. I have to collect prepped ingredients five times while inspired. So maybe I'll just start prepping more. <laughs> and these spoil in 17 hours in my inventory, but I imagine that they would probably take longer to spoil in the fridge. Yeah, they spoil in 12 days in the fridge. My face cam's covering it, but they spoil in 12 days in the fridge. So they last a long time in your inventory which is pretty good, but you can put them in the fridge also. There's two aspirations, not just one. There's actually two aspirations. Look at it spinning the vegetables. <laughs> Interesting to just, you know, put some veggies inside of a KitchenAid and turn it on, but okay. Hopefully the mixer doesn't catch on fire. Oh my God. That is a fascinating thought because the pizza oven does and can catch on fire. I speak from experience. <laughs> um, the it, it can catch on fire. It's only happened to me once, but the pizza oven can catch fire. But there's also like, well, I haven't used it yet, but I'll show you. There's like an open flame in the pizza oven, obviously. So makes a little bit more sense, I guess. Um, maybe you could prep some batter. I don't know. Just do a whole bunch of prepping. I might make some extra dough too. Yeah, the pizza oven can be upgraded. Um, you can upgrade it to, let me show you once I click on it in a second. I haven't tried these. You can add self-cleaning, speedy mix, and unbreakable to this thing. And I think that it's sort of similar vibes on the pizza oven where you can upgrade it to like self-clean, maybe not break. Yeah, self-cleaning, speedy, bake, and unbreakable are the upgrades you can add on that. I don't have any handiness skill. <laughs> So they aren't upgrades that I can add on that, but they're upgrades that you could add on that. <laughs> and I noticed the mixer does break in the rain. 
I haven't tried, I don't think the pizza oven broke in the rain, and I haven't tried the waffle maker in the rain, but the mixer did break in the rain. Okay. Could I test a pizza oven fire on the selling table? I had a pizza oven fire on the selling table, and nothing happened to it. I don't know if I can test a routing issue or, like, forcibly start a fire on this. Even if Jesse had a problem, I don't know how I could forcibly start this catching on fire, friend. <laughs> I would assume that, um, the waffle maker might break in the rain. I think the pizza maker doesn't because this is, like, could feasibly be an outdoor appliance on purpose. Anyway, we have a lot of pizza options. We can make, like, cheese pizza, some fancy pizzas. This one's called Curious Pizza. <laughs> we don't have enough skill. I might make some cheese pizza to start. Poison? Cool, though. No, the new pizza flavors aren't base game. You also, something that I found kind of annoying um, is that you couldn't... What are you doing? Cannot be put into sim inventory while cooking. Oh, she started making something on her own. I didn't even realize. She's making pumpkin spice waffles. Who told you you could do that? <laughs> I was like, it's broken. It's cooking, and I didn't tell it to. No, she that's it. She just did it on her own. <laughs> she just did it on her own. Yeah, the curious pizza is a Sims 2 reference, which is kind of cool. Okay, come collect meal. Collect waffles. We'll grab both of these. Um, all right, come grab, come and grab, we can start selling them now. The curious pizza might have some curious outcomes too. <laughs> okay, <laughs> it did say, um, oh, I don't have enough skill. If we have some alien fruit, we could try and make it. I did read in the description, I think it was talking about something funny happening to them. Hi, Sims, though. <laughs> Good to see you. Should we start a food sale? You can just drag them into it. And this thing works kind of like a fridge, so they, this won't spoil for three days. Personally, I don't know if I would want to buy three-day-old pizza from a food stall. Um, but, you know, <laughs> I, I guess. That's fine. But what I was going to say is you can't, I, I got distracted, but you can't order the new pizzas. Um, I thought that you would be able to from the pizza delivery, but the new pizzas aren't on there. There's, um, I think by default, there's three pizzas in the base game. And then the extra ones are like from university or something. Um, and you can make all of these plus some extras with the new pack, but the extras can't be ordered. I don't know if that was on purpose or if it was an accident. Maybe they didn't have time. I don't really know why that happened, but... That happened, so. Okay. Um, would you like to mark up the prices to like 100% so I can try and make some money? And we can see if some Sims want to come by. <laughs> Have I ever had Chicago pizza? You know, friend, I was born in Chicago, so yes. <laughs> uh, my family all lives in Chicago. I going back and forth my whole life. Our first guest! Hello. I'm gonna introduce myself because I'm kind of lonely. I might introduce myself to you as well. Miv, have fun meeting new friends in 90 minutes <laughs> with the tier 255 months. Thanks, Miv. I really appreciate that. That is very kind of you. Okay. Maybe I'll keep trying to get you all to buy this. Let me show you the waffles up close, though. These are one of the new waffles. That's the pumpkin spice waffles. I didn't choose to make those. She chose to make those, but, you know. <laughs> That's fine. That's fine. You do whatever you want, Sim, I guess. Okay, so basically, you can give them sales pitches, and you can also convince to buy every, every so often. The convince to buy is a slightly more effective interaction. You just can't do it constantly. Oh! <gasps> first customer they are sitting at my tables they're just not eating at the tables because <laughs> he like stands there and eats it like finger food kind of cute no um iron it's not a mod to zoom in like this this is uh this is like the camera mode in the sims 4 you can press tab to do that um, if you're playing on console I don't know how to do that but if you're playing on your computer it will it will work no matter what all you gotta do is press tab. Okay. 
Is it possible to sell ice cream at the selling table? I assume so, Mars. I, I will say I haven't actually tried that yet, um, but I assume that you can sell any food at this selling table. We could get an ice cream machine and try it if you want. Um, maybe I'll just grab this for a second, get an ice cream maker. I assume that the ice cream maker can be placed on this. Aha! It can. No, they don't just take the food you put on the table. Um, they only, they buy it. I will say I had a bit of a moment <laughs> with a townie when I was doing one of these sales. I thought she was trying to steal my food because um, I had it in the oven. And all of a sudden she walked up and took it out of the oven and walked away. And I fully thought she was stealing it. But what she actually did was take it and then put it on the picnic table at the park. So I, I thought that I was going to get scammed. But I didn't. I didn't. She just set it down. She was actually, I think she thought she was helping me. So. <laughs> Yeah, these ice cream ones are kind of annoying because she has to stand there and watch it, doesn't she? Until it's ready. Um, do you wanna- Oh wait, don't clear the table. It did stock it. Yeah, so she should be able to. Sells for 24 simoleons. So you could have an ice cream stand. That answers your question. I figured you would be able to, um, but I hadn't tried it until just now. So there. You can! You can! Can one of you buy my ice cream? I want you to buy it so I can see it. Oh, stop buying pizza and buy my ice cream. I'm so sad right now. She's not even tending it. Well, we made 84 simoleons on that food sale day. I didn't mark them up very high. Well, I guess I'll just leave this out overnight and go to bed. Well, they're in my house. I should have locked the door. What makes you think you could come in here? Can I add toppings? What's to the ice cream? Yeah, <laughs> not here. I think I have to take it out and then do it. Um, what would you want to put on this strawberry ice cream? Maybe like cherries and... Waffle pieces. There. There. Okay. Well, you guys are in my house. That's so annoying. <laughs> just leave. I just leave, please. Forgetful Chevy Prudence Clue. Becca, thank you for the subs. I must say, I I feel like I tend to more prefer um doing the food stands at community lots as opposed to at my house because you know they're in my house so you can bring it anywhere you can set it up anywhere there we go everyone but household members Ugh. it's just annoying because they stand out here and they don't leave like they kind of inconvenience me but it's a lot big of a deal. Yeah, you can put it in your inventory. You have to like take everything off of it first and then put it in your inventory. But yes, you can put it in your inventory. It's draggable. And so are the appliances now. You would have killed them? Oh, the Sims? Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness. That can't be good. Okay. No, the ice cream's not gone. It's just in the in the thingy, kind of like a fridge. It's not on the table right now, but it's just in there. See, I can put anything in there. Okay. Can you store prepped ingredients in coolers? I don't know. I haven't really tried that. I also am so silly. I prepped all those ingredients and I didn't put them in the fridge. What was I thinking? Kayla. Why won't this all go in the fridge? What are you doing? Oh, spoiled. Okay, well, I ruined the dough. <laughs> I ruined the dough. This is horrible. Maybe I should just make some more. I did build this house. Yeah, I built this when we first went live today. 
Maybe I'll prep some ingredients. Cause I have to prep some ingredients using fresh veggies, fresh ingredients. So we can try and do that a little bit. Yeah, this stuff pack will be $10 as well. Just like the cost of all the other stuff packs. I gotta say for me, <laughs> um, this stuff pack is so much more worthwhile than 90% of all the other stuff packs. Like most of the stuff packs, I would argue, are not really worth the money. Like they just are sort of lacking in content. You can kind of directly compare this to the cool kitchen stuff pack because it's also a kitchen pack. That one had a kitchen set and an ice cream maker. That was it. This one has three kitchen appliances and the selling table and like all that new stuff that you can do with the selling table. There's a lot of stuff in this pack, especially in comparison to the other stuff packs, which is kind of nice. So this one is a massive improvement. So paranormal though. Yeah, but I don't think that paranormal is like significantly bigger than this necessarily. It has a new lot type and a new active career, but this also has a new active career sort of. And I find the gameplay of this to be more useful than the paranormal stuff because this is like easier for me to do in my average everyday gameplay. You know, like in a regular save, I'm, I don't have a ghost hunter. I, I sort of would class this as being very similar in content size to paranormal. So, okay, maybe you could start. I got a pizza. I have to cook with my prepped ingredients five times. So I'll just keep doing that. I have, oh, it counts when it's in the fridge, even though it's not in my backpack. That's so easy. Okay, I thought that I was gonna have to carry it with me, but I don't, cause I'm on the same lot. Well, we can make a whole bunch of pizzas then. And we can use all the dough. Cool. You haven't played with the paranormal gameplay at all and it's been years, really? I, I do like paranormal. It's just not the kind of thing that I use a lot often. I'll probably use it next month for Halloween. You know, but like, it's not really the kind of thing that I'm that interested in using constantly. <laughs> it's just different than my, my usual preferences for gameplay. It's cool, but it's not my like, Okay, um, maybe you could, I guess we can just keep prepping more pizzas then. It isn't too hard to keep up with the selling of them, I don't think either. I was worried about it taking too long to cook all the stuff and it being too difficult, but it really isn't that bad. You don't have a ghost hunter, but you have 255 graves in your front yard. Who, oh, me? Me? <laughs> yeah, I know, I have a large grave collection. 256, right? Yeah. Well, yeah. I'm trying to like speed run this aspiration a little bit. It's not too bad trying to cook these things. Somebody wanted me, I can make this focaccia for you so that you can see it. How about that? I, I'm so excited about this. I just think back to the Sims 3 days and how much I was obsessed with the pizza oven in that pack. And I find this to be so fun. <laughs> I don't think anyone is, oh, I guess two of them did buy my ice cream. I just didn't see it yet. Cause it says only six left. Oh man, I missed it. You've been going through some stuff lately. No, I I absolutely do mind if you come over. No, no, you cannot come over. Ugh, collect meal. <laughs> you think a big one would have been cool? Really? I kind of like how it's a countertop one. This is the bread, by the way, so that you can see it. It's kind of nice. Yeah, that was our first customer. I don't know. It's kind of weird that she's, you know, my customer and now she's calling to ask to come to my house, but they also gained the charisma skill a bunch from doing this, which is kind of cool. Oh, look, he was eating my ice cream. I didn't even notice. I keep wanting to see them buy the ice cream, but he just bought one and I didn't even see him eat it. 
I've got too many pizzas. Danny asked you on a date, okay. Okay, maybe cook, I need to cook something one more time. Maybe make this pizza caliente. There we go. Okay, we need to cook one excellent quality prep or collect one excellent quality preps ingredient. Cook five times listening to music and cook meals using six unique preps ingredients. Oh my, <gasps> Molly, hello, how was your stream? What have you been up to? No, I know what you were up to. Oh, did it go well? <gasps> Tell us about it, Molly, I'm so excited. <laughs> Hopefully it was it was the best. We've been playing with the new stuff pack too. Um, we've been kind of exploring a little bit, checking out the new stuff, um, and I've really been enjoying it. So I'm just making a large amount of pizzas right now, <laughs> like over and over and over again. Oh boy, Let's just keep going. Um, yeah, I hope that you had fun. This pack honestly is really cool. I'll just keep using all the stuff. Okay, I used prepped meat. I need to use six unique prepped ingredients. So keep in mind that we use meat already. We'll start there. Collect meal. I'm not even talking to them. They're just buying my stuff. That makes my life so so much easier. I don't even need to do anything. <laughs> I just I just keep making the pizzas and they just keep eating the pizzas and everything's fine. Yeah, anyway, if you're from my stream and you don't already follow my friend Molly, um, please, please, please go do. Maybe prepped veggies next? You should. You're missing out if you don't. Yeah, we do gain the entrepreneur skill from this. We've got level two from this already. That's th That skill is from high school years, not from this pack, but um, you do gain it with this pack. Okay, that's my prepped... Veggie pizza. Okay, is there anything I can use here? I have batter. Maybe I'll make some mushroom waffles. I like it. And you can make money from the plates? Yeah, I can sell their plates when they're done. Because <laughs> I have the money trash can. Um, get rid of this. Oh, you're showering in the middle of your food sale. What are you doing? What are you doing? Get back to the table. We got stuff to do. Oh my god. Ridiculous. Collect the waffles. Ugh. Okay. I'm gonna actually try harder now to sell this stuff because I've not been talking to them this whole time. <laughs> Some of them are buying my things, but I've not really been talking to them enough. Oh, I can sell that. I don't know if they purchase when you're not tending the stand. I think you have to be tending it for them to buy stuff from it. The sim is sick, you think? No way, are we? Oh my god, I'm feverish and I'm selling food? Oh no. <laughs> and she definitely didn't wash her hands either. <laughs> well, that's bad. I'm sure they'll be fine. The sims are gonna be fine, it's okay. It's okay. We did shower for like a couple minutes just then. <laughs> we took a little mini shower, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> I'm gonna keep giving them sales pitches. Oh God. I think we've made a lot of money today. From that sale, it just ended. We got 394 simoleons. That's not bad at all. Okay, I'll let her go to the bathroom. Sorry. And maybe you can get some food. Oh, I've got all kinds of spoiled stuff in there. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's fine. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna buy her any medicine. I'm kind of okay with things going badly for her. So. Ew, look at all these plates. Ugh. Get rid of... Maybe get rid of... Oh, I, well, I guess it's all gotten rid of. That's fine. That's fine. Is this just base game in a new pack? Well, the house is, yeah. Um, I have all the packs installed right now, um, so I'm not only playing with the base game, but, like, the clothes she's wearing are... I guess her shoes are from university, but everything else is from the new pack. Earrings, hair, outfit whole house is base game in the new pack. Really showing off most of the stuff. 
Uh, Megan, we live in Copperdale. This is uh, the high school year's world. There's a There used to be a starter home here, and I replaced it with something I just built really quick in the beginning of stream. Yeah, I love the hair too. Isn't it so cute? I really like the pink. Can we get some lights outside? Yeah, we have some more money now. We can buy some stuff for the outside. This world is very dark. It's dark during the day too, but nothing I can do about that. Um, maybe this could be good. Well, oh no, this is cuter because I can change the color of it. Look, that's nice. Maybe I'll get like two of those. Maybe I can get my front door a little porch light also. Like that one. That helps. The morning should be better. Um, you know, Summer, that's a good question. Summer asked if it's more effective to have the stand on a community lot or on your home lot. And I don't think that one or the other is necessarily more effective. I think that for me, I kind of prefer it on a community lot because then I don't have Sims at my house keeping me up all night because they're still here instead of leaving. <laughs> Um, so I, I feel like it's almost more fun to bring it places for the community lots and like bring it out to, I don't know, the park or the museum or whatever. Um, but it is also cute to have it in your front yard and maybe a little bit easier for you to have it. There's like spoiled food underneath this that I didn't notice. It might be easier for you to have it at your front yard because then you've got like your home kitchen and your bed and all of those things accessible to you and easy to use if your sim has needs problems. But I think it's cool to use this in public spaces. Yeah, if you made like a eco lifestyle marketplace lot type and then you put this stall there, that would be make perfect sense. That would be so cool. Um, yeah, there's lots that you can do with this. I quite like it. Um, anyway. Where can you find the not so very challenge rules? Friend, if you just Google it, it's like the first result. It's on my Tumblr. There's a link in chat right now, but if you Google not so very rules, it's top top result on my Tumblr is the rules. You'll see it. Okay. Um, maybe I will bring it out tonight then. Should I try and cook a little bit more? I need to collect one excellent quality prepped ingredient. Maybe I'll prep some seafood. Is there more stuff in- I think it's in the wall. I might just let it be there. If there wants to be stinky stuff in the wall, then there can be stinky stuff in the wall. I don't even care. That's- that's its own fault. <laughs> that is its own fault. Okay, so what preps ingredients- I used batter, I used dough, I used veggies. Have I used meat yet? I guess I could try and make a handful of other prepped ingredients to bring with me. Oh, I broke it. Oh man. I used meat. So did I not use dough? Oh, now I'm very sick. Great. You can't dislike handiness. I'm sorry. Um, maybe prep some meat substitute. We did use dough. Well then, so, no, because, hold on. It only says that I've used three. I used batter, I used veggies, and I used meat. But I used dough, maybe I didn't use veggies? I'll just make a bunch. I'll just make a bunch. Maybe the dough went bad and I was out of dough. I don't know. She gonna die from being sick? No, 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 she won't die from being sick. And I'll buy her some stuff. I'll, I'll get her some medicine. Maybe we can go set up at the library. And we'll do it there. I'm not gonna put it in the fridge, Bleedle, cause I'm gonna bring this with me so I can cook with it today. I guess I could just put one of each out for myself. And then put the rest of it in the fridge. But I was planning on 
bringing this with me to the park so I can cook with it today. Oops, I just dragged that all one by one by accident. Okay, take all of those with you. Um, oh, don't put that in your inventory. What am I doing? Put it in the stand, silly. Put these in your inventory. Ah! I just dragged that wrong like four times. What happened to my pizza oven? Oh wait, this visual glitch. Okay. There we go. <laughs> now I got it. Now we can go. <laughs> now we can go do it. Jenny, thank you for the five months, by the way. And Flower and Sally and Piece of Kate and Snazzy and Thea, Melanie Bark, thank you all so much. Momo too and Disgrace. Thanks everybody. Okay, well I wanted to go to the library. I wasn't thinking this library. I was kind of thinking the Willow Creek library. Can prep items go in the new lunchbox? I don't know. Maybe? I haven't really tried that yet. Is the cooler on the stand functional? Um, you can't like click on it separately, but the stand itself works like a fridge. So when your food is in it, um, when your food is in it, then it doesn't go bad, which is kind of nice. Okay, let's get our stand set up back here maybe. But you can't like click on the cooler separately, but like there's food in this um when i start the sale it'll show up and you see how it's gonna spoil and like oh it's, it doesn't say when it's gonna spoil because it's on sale right now but you know what i mean it does it's it's in the it's like a fridge markup prices let's increase the price markup honestly why not let's make this seafood pizza that uses six unique prep unique preps ingredients. Maybe I could make. Oh, I don't have any batter. Oh. What do I have with me? Lactose free batter and prepped meat substitute. Oh, can you not use lactose free batter to make these? Oh, I guess they're not lactose free. They require batter. Collect the meal. Oh, I should have brought music with me. Can I buy headphones? If I order them on my phone. Oh, I don't remember. Shopping. I bet headphones don't count as a gift. Hmm. Simray. I ha oh, I have some. How was I to know? <laughs> I never got called about it. Okay. Well, I guess we'll just cook again then. I was gonna order some medicine also from the computers while I was here. Do you wanna try and... Can I not use any of this? Oh no, I'll have to cook with it at home. That's fine. The one time we need headphones, huh? Okay, you keep that up. And then I'm just gonna order some medicine for you. The headphones come with the fitness stuff pack, yeah. Uh, sort of a random feature, but honestly kind of good. Can you... Purchase medicine, sorry. I scrolled past it like three times. What do the headphones do? It's like a radio, but it's in your Sim's ears. So she's multitasking, she's listening to music right now, and she's doing this. So I'll, I'm like cooking while I'm listening to music, basically. The earbuds can be kind of useful for, oh, I guess it doesn't count with um, these makers. I'll cook at home like this. But it's nice because it gets her fun up while she's just standing here. Oh, and she's not even sick anymore. I don't even need medicine. Oh my goodness. I don't even know what I'm doing. All right, well. Is it showing your Sims ears? Yeah, look. You can even see the music coming out of them. So it actually like looks like it's being used, which is kind of cool. All right. I guess I'll just keep talking to people trying to get them to sell this. Maybe one of these days I can marry someone who I meet from my sand. Like Liberty. I 
don't know. Your cow plant just died minutes after feeding it? Oh no! You didn't deserve that. <laughs> Amy, no thoughts, just cats, man. Thank you for the subs, everybody. No thoughts, just cats is really how I'm feeling right now, I'm not gonna lie. My life has been completely consumed by cats today. And the past few weeks. This is what happens when you find cats in a sewer, and then your elderly cat gets kidney disease, and then your parent's cat dies. Everything's been happening with cats. It's everything in my life is cats right now. <laughs> Have we made a decent amount of money from this? I don't even remember. We're actually, like, they're selling it for a decent amount. Make pleasantly unpleasant waffles. I need to get some trash fruit for that. The way that story escalated. Yeah, life is bad. <laughs> I mentioned this earlier, you guys, but listen to this. This is horrible. I, um, so my, one of my childhood pets died last week of cancer. Um, bad, bad vibes. Life sucks. Today I had to take my other childhood cat, Snap, to the vet, uh, for follow-up after her surgery, her vet dental surgery, and also her, um, she had, like, a cyst removed from her back, so they, like, took her stitches out today at the vet. Anyway, I get to the vet at the exact same time as my dad does to pick up Pogi's ashes. <laughs> I pull up, I got Snap, she's crying in the back seat, yelling because she's so stressed. Here comes my dad, oh, he's getting Pogi's ashes. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> and then, and then, he walks out of the vet with this like little blue, like it looks like a gift bag, right? Or like a goodie bag, it's like a little blue paper, like gift bag that they're in, which I guess it makes sense. You want to present them nicely or whatever, but like, <laughs> but I know that they're in, there's ashes in there. Uh, yeah, so I've had a, it's been a rough day. I am actually not thriving. <laughs> it's okay, I'll be okay. It's just been a weird week for me. So, oh my God, Bess, I am not giving you a thousand simoleons. I am not giving you a thousand simoleons. What is wrong with you? You think I have that kind of money? I only have 1600. On your Snapchat yearly recap, it said this year you had green thumbs and it was a picture of your dog's ashes. I got my, I had a little pop up today. Oh, I have a picture of Steph on my featured photos from 2017. I got a pop up. You know how like your phone makes those like little slideshows it was like furry friends and it was all pictures of pogi this morning um obviously he's the one that died last week and the last one was a picture of him that i took when he was this is like from last week when i saw him the last time and i was like holding his paw and sobbing under the bed and i took a picture of like my hand and his hand in it and that was the last picture in the slideshow <laughs> <laughs> oh my god you have to laugh you just have to laugh <laughs> like read the room honestly read the room yeah it's been a rough week though <laughs> i'll be okay it's just been a rough week <laughs> ghost abby thank you for the subs both of you oh uh, you know what maybe i'll start another food sale i'm trying to clear all this out because i have a lot of cheap stuff that's left i want to start making only expensive food Maybe I can try and get him to buy all this off of me. All right. Hello, Cassie. I know you just bought me a, a slice of my pizza, but do you want to buy another slice of my pizza? This ice cream is $39. Can you imagine spending $39 for one scoop of ice cream? Seafood pizza's worth 102. That's just not right. <laughs> no, Bunny, it all sells for different prices. It sells for various prices depending on quality and also like uh, expense. So, you, you know, when you look at this, I mean, you're going to cook and like this thing costs 60 simoleons to make, but this costs 22. Like the, the 60 simoleon thing or the 65 simoleon thing is gonna cost more than the 20 simoleon thing. Like a plain cheese pizza is cheaper than a seafood pizza or whatever um so that's kind of how it works i guess compared to toilet paper it's a steal sure 
pitch? Sure, sure. Give a sales pitch. How are we doing on skill? We have cooking seven. Okay, maybe today when we get home, we can go try and max the cooking skill. I'll just cook a whole bunch of things at home. And then we can try and make the curious pizza and also the like trash fruit waffles. Because I haven't made them yet. I'm excited to see. Depends if you have the ingredients. It might have something to do with that a little bit too, but the price, the price of it, ha the price that it costs to make uh, is based on ingredients also. So like, um, you see how these require dough, tomato, and cheese, but some of this stuff is like dough, prepped meat, tomato. If I had an ingredient, it would cost zero, but it's still an expensive pizza, so it'd still sell for more. But you have to buy the ingredients, which is why it costs some. What is fresh ingredients? That means like this, like an, like an apple in your inventory. A fresh apple or whatever. Am I doing a giveaway of this pack? Yeah, I will do a giveaway, but not today because um, the codes won't work if you get them today. <laughs> so we'll do a giveaway tomorrow um, when the pack is officially out. I, I'll have a, a code for you tomorrow. Okay. I guess just I'll just speed through until they finish this. Oh, she's. Are you making something? Oh no, I made it up. Yeah, you can sell nectar here. Yeah, you can sell uh, most of the food things, uh, drinks, nectar, um, all this stuff. You can sell all that here. I was in my review. I focused mostly on the stuff that's actually new and not so much on cross pack stuff. Um, but you can sell like all those things here. We we were selling ice cream here. You can sell that. Um, Many, many things. I haven't tried potions, peanut allergy. I have not tried potions. I don't really play with potions that often, so. <laughs> I haven't tried it. Look at how much they're buying from me. Look, 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 she's eating the ice cream. I finally saw someone eat my ice cream. I've been waiting for that. Pavela said potions don't work. Oh good, she tried it, I'm glad. Yeah, I didn't try the potions. I didn't even consider that potions might work and they don't. But I was, I sort of assumed that things like, um, what did you make? Sweet corn pizza? I sort of assumed that things like the, um, the drinks would work. I didn't really think about potions. I, I was thinking more about like food, whereas I think of potions as being like a thing. And potions don't work apparently. <laughs> the librarian's using my waffle maker. <laughs> the librarian just took my waffle maker and started using it. <laughs> I guess that means I can steal it though. Collect the waffles. You can eat them. Those are yours. Grab a serving. Why not? Thanks to the librarian for the waffles. Okay. <laughs> well, let me put all this food away quickly then. And we'll bring this all back home, I guess. Um, collect the meal. Is that my sweet corn pizza? Nice. Okay. Take that, take that, take that. I'm leaving my dirty plate here. That's bad. That's littering. Oh well. <laughs> Just that one guy in glider and sass and pedals. Thank you for the subs, everybody. Sorry, sorry. Litter is bad. Don't litter. Littering is very, very, very bad. <sighs> okay. Okay. Use bathroom, take a shower, go straight to bed. And then tomorrow, I guess, we'll try and cook five times while listening to music and then try and max our cooking skill. That is my plan. Yeah, so Ty, the mini dishwasher, I guess I can show you guys again. Um, when we say mini dishwasher, it is smaller looking than all of the other dishwashers, okay? It is not technically smaller than any of the other dishwashers. Like the dishwashers take up a full tile. This dishwasher also takes up a full tile, but visually it looks like it takes up half a tile or like three quarters of a tile or whatever. Does that make sense? Um, so it looks better on some counters than others. Um, it doesn't work on the smaller counters because it takes up a full tile still. Do you understand what I mean? Do you see the green space? 
Um, so it doesn't fit in a smaller counter. It still takes up a full tile. Some of the counters it looks weird on, it will probably look good. You know how on like a lot of these island counters, they're completely flat in the back. So it looks good on most of the island counters. Um, yeah, that's kind of annoying. I wish it wasn't like that, but it isn't like the biggest of deals, I guess. Um, my, my bigger concern is that I wish that you could move it to the other side. I wish that we had, like, a left side and a right side option. Um, but I guess it isn't the end of the world. Um, I don't know. I was kind of sad about that, too, when I first saw it. But I think that it, it, the, the, like, side switching, we have to keep in mind, right, that, like, this is, it's animated, so... They would have to make like a whole different one. I'm gonna see what it does when she uses it. That's pretty cute. Yeah, I don't know. It's kind of annoying, but it's not the worst thing. But anyway, that's why. I think, at least. <laughs> I'm gonna have us start cooking. I'm gonna make this lactose-free Yorkshire pudding. Because I have the lactose-free batter that I can use. And I'll also listen to something while I do that. I've used my six unique prepped ingredients, so that's cool. And this counts as one time while listening to music. What? It didn't count? Okay, I have to cook five times while listening to music, so don't mind me. I'll start making- how about the baconing cupcakes? Or you can make this apple pie. Let me save the game. Maybe the earbuds don't count. Oh, maybe the earbuds don't count. Maybe it actually has to be a, a radio. Oh, hi, Ninja. Thank you. That was really nice of you. <laughs> um, yeah, I like this shirt. I always get a lot of compliments when I wear this shirt, which makes me feel really good about myself because like multiple people say, that shirt is so cute. And then I think, well, thank you. <laughs> and it makes me feel really good because I wore this to the Taylor Swift concert. So it's like, it's like really reassuring to me. Oh, she, it did count. I guess maybe she just wasn't starting fast enough before. But I wore this to the Taylor Swift concert. So, so it's like really reassuring that I made the right choice. You know? <laughs> when people say nice things about it, it's like, oh good. I, I did this right. I wore the right thing. <laughs> All right. She's still listening to music. This is kind of fun having her cook and listen to music at the same time. Good stuff. The, oh, the reward for this aspiration is a trait called batch cook, where we get duplicates of any recipe cooked with batch ing or prepped ingredients. Well, I haven't gotten this reward trait yet. That's actually really good. Duplicates of any recipe that we make with prepped ingredients. That's actually really good. Wow, I hadn't even considered that. Okay, I'll just have her keep cooking. We're not even using the new stuff, but I'm using prepped ingredients right now. We have to cook three or two more times after this. Um, it's not a new trait, Destiny. This is so it's a new aspiration that comes with a reward trait. The other uh, there's two aspirations. This one's reward trait. Um, can you even see it from this? Yeah, booth boss. Sims with this trait can set higher markup prices. So so the max markup price by default is three hundred. Um, but with that, oh, I didn't mean to switch to that, but with that, if you've got the, the reward trait, the max markup is 500% instead of 300%, which is pretty good. Okay. Um, let's make some mac and cheese. I'll just make a single serving a couple times, I guess. Oh, I should probably save the game. I haven't seen that reward trait, though, from this appliance with aspiration. That's actually so good. I feel like I'm gonna end up using this stand mixer the most out of everything because it fits in so nicely and you can use it on, like, regular recipes. Woo! I maxed the cooking skill. You know what that means. Let me put my stuff back down. I had ah! Oh my god, I put it in the house. I didn't mean to. <laughs> uh, that means that we can make those best pizzas. Hello? What the heck is going on? It's being weird. Wait, can I put it on here for a sec? 
Is it like glitched? What's happening? Where did my pizza stand go? Oh, it's over here. I won't let me put anything there. Maybe, is it over the lot border? Oh, I'm so silly. It was past the lot border. It's not glitched. <laughs> That's, uh, that was me. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> not a glitch, that was me. <laughs> it was over the edge of the lot. <laughs> Sorry, trying to blame them when it was my fault. That was a user error, actually. <laughs> I couldn't tell. I didn't notice. Now I feel embarrassed. Okay, well now we're on the last level of this. So we have to cook two pizzas or waffles at a single gold social event after reaching silver. <laughs> okay. Make a prepped ingredient using a stand mixer with at least one upgrade and make pleasantly unpleasant waffles. So, what are you doing? You didn't even finish cooking that. Who does that? What's wrong with you? Yeah, you're right, Christine. We're not used to lots that blend in so seamlessly with the world around them. Exactly. That's what it is. Okay, well, I have to use a stand mixer with at least one upgrade. I need level four, five, seven. Oh, I have level two. <laughs> okay. We have to work on this. We also need to get some trash fruit. So, okay, maybe step one. Let's get a woodworking table. Yeah. Um, I'll drag that around. Does it come with a new job? Yeah, Hadley, um, there isn't like a new job that's like a rabbit hole job where you send your sims to work, but the new job is that you can run this stand so I can like start food sales and sell my food there if i oh maybe i'll make a knife block that actually seems like a good use of my time oh i started a horse sculpture instead oh i have all my pizzas in my inventory oh geez oh geez okay it's a good thing i remembered that thank you for telling me that because that could have been bad i cleared the table accidentally Oh my gosh. I was gonna end up selling that moldy pizza without thinking. <laughs> well, we do- we are in a tiny house, so we get double skill gains. This isn't too bad. We're finishing it pretty quickly. Handiness level three. Well, Amy, that- that's not new pack stuff. I, I appreciate the concern, but I'm not gonna like go to a dorm and try and drag and drop microwaves and stuff um, right now because we're I want to play with the new pack. You can test that if you want because that, that came out that would have been in the update. Um, all that stuff with the dorms that would have happened for everyone two days ago. So hopefully you understand. <laughs> oh, Arch, we need a bit of handiness skill so that I can upgrade this. I want to start upgrading the mixer and I need level four and I don't have high enough level to do it yet. Maybe I'll make a dragon. So. Cool. Very, very cool. No, I haven't had a chance to test it off, off camera, no. It's been a long day. <laughs> it's been a long day, I haven't had a chance to yet. Marbles, Allison, Molly, thank you for the subs. Okay, we're level four now. I don't have any upgrade parts, but. I can buy some. Maybe I'll get a computer. The plants? Oh yeah, I haven't been talking to them. I should probably fix that. Maybe I'll get a little computer. I'll get a nice laptop for me. We need a computer. We've, we've needed one for a while and then I can order stuff on this. I can purchase some upgrade parts. I'll get some common upgrade parts. Speedy mix. Okay. Cool. Cool. I probably have enough skill to upgrade the other ones too. Oh, and I bet I could sell that stuff that I just made. Give me like 50 simoleons back. Well, good. 
It wants me to make a prepped ingredient using a stand mixer with at least one upgrade. I also need pleasantly unpleasant waffles. I need to make myself angry so that I can kick this over and get some trash. Or I guess there's probably other better ways to do this. Maybe, oh, she's making waffles. Okay, on her own. Sure. Mushroom waffles. Is the garlic new? No, actually garlic came with, um, I'm uncomfortable. I'm feverish. Oh, it's back. Well, good thing I got medicine. Oh. Garlic is with the vampire's pack. Well, good, I fixed it. Oh, I fixed it. I don't have a regular trash can, so I can't take trash out that way. I need to get a plate and then have her like start cleaning stuff up and then drop it on the floor. That'll be the way. I went and I bought, I had to go and buy a fancy thing, very foolishly. Okay, stop that. Here's what I'll have her do. I'm gonna have her clean up all these plates and then drop it. Drop it. No. Maybe I'll get a regular little trash can. I'm gonna get myself some trash, don't worry. I will have a trash fruit. No reason to be alarmed. Okay, empty the trash. <laughs> yeah, invite a neighbor over, they'll kick it straight away. Right, exactly. If we get a neighbor, they'll just kick it. Well, I guess I'll leave that, maybe I'll leave it back here so that people can't see it and then we'll hope that it can become, we'll hope that it can become a trash fruit for us. That'll be good. Okay, Dr. Marbles, thank you for the subs, everybody. Um, I'm getting kind of lonely too. She can't kick it over unless she's mad, Icky. So she can't click on it right now because she's not in a bad mood. Which is actually probably a good thing that they can't kick it over when they're not in a bad mood. Because imagine if she could autonomously kick it when she was like in a good mood. That would be really annoying. But luckily they can't. She's making more waffles and she's very lonely. Maybe I'll invite a sim over. Jonah. Think I need strawberries too? Yeah, we need a handful of things. Um, I also wanna make the fancy pizza, so we have to get that stuff too, but let me show you. We're going to try to make the pleasantly unpleasant waffles. So we need batter, trash fruit, and a strawberry. We will be able to achieve those things. For this, we need alien fruit, which is a little bit harder to come by. Maybe I'll start by going to Henford on Bagley and we can try and do some shopping. We'll see if they've got any of the fruits that I need because that might make this easier. And then we can talk to them as well. Um, what is stinky near the fridge? Oh, I was trying to put something in the fridge and then it didn't make it into the fridge. Um, and then it ended up on the floor in the wall next to the fridge and I've just left it there this whole time. I'm gonna need to put the trash fruit on some soil so that it can turn into trash fruit. Turn into tur put the trash on soil so it can turn into trash fruit. But I'll worry about that later. I'm not even home right now. I'm not even home right now. Okay, I'll tearful introduction, and then I'll buy some items from you. Okay. Um. Please, 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 please have a strawberry, please. We have raspberries. We have tomatoes. Oh no, I'll buy some grapes too. Oh, I don't really have enough money to be buying all these things, do I? I didn't really think that through. Hmm. Maybe the garden shop can help me. Strawberry, 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 <gasps> strawberry! Okay, good, we needed that. Um, you're not gonna have anything scary, are you? No alien fruit? Probably not. That is okay. Maybe, do you think that she sells like, any uncommon seed packets? Six some mosquito trap seeds. Wolfsbane seeds. 
That's not gonna count, will it? I also don't have enough money for that. There was a glow orb? Oh. You think you see alien fruit. Okay, I'll try again. I'll try again. Celery, thank you for the resub! Sponsor the Rowans and Spice Festivals? Yeah, but there isn't one happening right now. Are you talking about this? We can buy a glow orb. Okay. Oh, I was supposed to talk to you. And there was a quill fruit in the other booth. Oh, okay, I'll get that too then. We're gonna be out of money. Maybe I'll- honestly, I'm gonna sell the ice cream maker. We can't afford it. We don't even need it anymore. We already tested what we wanted to. You can't order the new pizzas, Grack Attack. No, we did test that. You can't order the new pizzas, which is kind of annoying. What was I looking for here? Why did I already forget? Quill fruit. <gasps> uh, <laughs> we have no money. Okay, okay, okay. Have a Henford heart to heart. Ask about career. Uh, I should have tried to haggle. Yikes. Okay. Love for bees. Mostly thank you for the subs. I'll just talk to all these Sims quickly. Jeez, that was expensive. This is bad. Why don't we have any money? Well, uh, we have not reached a point in our shop owner career that is that lucrative. <laughs> it's okay, we'll we'll sell stuff at a very high markup today. We'll run the shop. I didn't run the shop yesterday and I just cooked all day, so I spent a lot of money. And I didn't earn a lot of money, but I'll, I'll work at the shop today. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Sure photos. I'm trying to get my social back all the way. That should be fine. Let's go back. Let's go back. I live in Copperdale. Mystic, thank you for the subs also. Okay. Back here. I guess I'll just start it. Maybe she can shower. We have a lot of stuff. Like a lot of food that we can sell. So it'll be fine. Alright, I will quickly, I guess, shower, we'll get some leftovers, and then I'll start a food sale. Well, she didn't get any leftovers! <sighs> Has anybody else been getting this pop-up? I've been getting this pop-up, this is the third time now, that I've gotten the infant call in a house that doesn't have any kids. I think that when they tried to fix the, like, calls being broken, they fixed it too much, and now I get calls that I shouldn't be getting. <laughs> But it's been happening since the update on Tuesday, yesterday. It's kind of annoying. I don't have any infants for you to help me with. Very annoying. Very, very annoying. Okay. Well, I guess we're just starting. Hopefully, maybe I'll mark this up even more. Markup price is 300%. I'm trying to get rich. Convinced to buy. Um, how about you buy my seafood pizza? <gasps> Yay! See? Everything's fine. Give sales pitch. 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 <laughs> we'll get some money back. It's gonna be okay, everyone. Don't worry. Took us a second, but it'll be fine. Oh, I need to, um... Really quickly... Try and get a trash fruit to spawn. Yay! Okay, keep buying my stuff. I probably, in hindsight, should have done this before I went shopping. Because <laughs> then I would have had plenty of money. But I didn't. I waited until after. This world is, um, this is the cop- this world is- I was gonna say the Copperdale. It's Copperdale from the high school pack. Is where I am right now. Jesse, thanks for the sub gift! Thank you so much. That is really generous of you. I haven't saved in a while? Oh, really? Yikes. <laughs> that would have been bad, actually. So. Oh, no, never. I knew I had to put it in the ground for it to grow. I just forgot that I hadn't done it yet. Um, so I know why it hasn't grown yet. It wouldn't have grown that fast anyway. I wasn't even on the lot, so it couldn't have grown yet. I wasn't here. 
But now that I'm here, it can grow. <laughs> so Now it can grow. It's in soil right now. So hopefully it'll show up. Um, convinced to buy seafood pizza. Cook two pizzas or waffles at a single gold social event after reaching silver. I guess we could try and throw a dinner party tonight or something. So we have to do that for the aspiration. I like how it's trying to- it, it's kind of a complicated final thing on the aspiration, which is fun, because I feel like usually they aren't that good. The last bits. I reached charisma level 7 and I made 940 simoleons that day. Yeah, it's like really oddly specific, isn't it? I don't know. I'll plan one though. Uh, plan a social event. Come on. Come on. I think I will throw a dinner party. I will be the host and I will invite a bunch of the people that have been showing up at my food stand. And I'll do it here, right now. All right, I need to make a meal. I need to call guests to the meal. Maybe I'll make a gourmet meal. I could serve like some garlic noodles. Um, Maddie, I usually stream for about three hours, so I'll probably get off stream in about an hour from now. Um, we'll see. We shall see. Dan is currently with my dad, not home, so, <laughs> um, it also kind of depends when they get home, because, um, if they don't get home before, like, 7.15, I probably should leave, because I have to feed all the cats. But, it's okay. I'll probably be back in time. Oh no, wait! Is there something- oh no, it was- okay, I thought something was like spoiled in the mixer, it's not. There's just something underneath the mixer. <laughs> that's fine, that's fine. I don't mind if there's anything underneath the mixer. Oh, my doors are locked. <laughs> Sorry, everyone! Come to my meal, come to my meal. I made food for you. And then I need to socialize with the guests also. Thanks for coming. Give cooking tips. Tell a funny story. Talk about dreams, you know. I don't know if, if the food spoils in the mixer. I can only assume that if you leave it there, it'll spoil, right? I haven't left it in there long enough for it to spoil yet, though. So I've been, like, grabbing it immediately, so I don't really know for sure. But I, I would assume that it would spoil in the mixer. Okay, I need to get some music, too. Um, <laughs> I just clicked on the microwave thinking I was going to get music. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. I don't know what just came over me. Yeah, like, if it's in the microwave, it'll spoil. So I, I would assume that it would spoil if you don't grab it, but I haven't done that yet. Just like anything else, like, when you leave food in the... Even in the coffee pot, it'll spoil, so... Okay, I'm gonna try and form a little group here. With a bunch of these people. And we'll all dance together, okay? So I can get a silver quality thing. Come on, dance. Dance! Ready? There we go. Okay, I needed to cook two pizzas or waffles at a single gold social event after reaching silver. Okay. Let's go make... Oh, I can make the curious pizza now. Oh, let's make the curious pizza now. I have the stuff for it. I kind of forgot that I had the stuff for it already. Hmm. Well, this will be fun. Okay, it's in. Hurry up. Hurry up. How long? No! It broke! Collect the meal! Collect the meal! Quick! Quick! Okay, that's one. I should just replace it, huh? I want to play with that so bad. Okay, I'll make one more pizza so that way I can be done with this and then we'll eat the... Yeah, they're multi-stage. They're, um, we're on the last one right now. It's their long aspirations. They're kind of cool too. You need to have level 10 of the skill to make the pleasantly unpleasant waffles for it. 
These are, these are, I think, pretty good aspirations compared to some of the things that we've been getting as aspirations recently. I, I appreciate them. Okay, let's collect the meal. All right, I will also end the party. Everyone leave my house. I have uh, super important plans with pizza. So you all must leave so that I can play with it. Yeah, Finn, you can still order pizza from delivery, but you can't order the new pizzas from delivery. They're not one of the options, unfortunately. Um, so I wish that they were, but they're not one of the options. Can you all get out of my house? <laughs> I guess I'm still in a group. Uh, disband the group. Oh my god. This is a very small house and there's a lot of sims in it right now. <laughs> Don't mind me, I'm just cleaning up a little bit here. Well, I guess I could put the pizza out. So this is the Curious Pizza. Look. Ever since Laszlo Curious had the ingenious idea to put extraterrestrial fruit on a pizza, this unique dish has become a strange town delicacy. A single slice will focus your brainwaves and has been known to attract unexpected visitors. This is a little Sims 2 reference. Oh god, I'm eating in my room with my Curious pizza. I don't want anyone to be like ruining the vibes. This is my first time uh, seeing this. I haven't used it yet. So we shall find out. People are asking what it does. I don't know. I haven't used it yet. <laughs> this is my first time too. <laughs> it's kind of scary looking actually. Oh look. Pizza is out there from eating curious pizza. Pascal, Vidkun, Laszlo, Tycho, and Nova all know the truth. And now you do too. Okay. No, it's not from Get to Work. It's from this pack. Um, it's like a fun little nod to some other stuff, though. Have you sold to a ghost yet? I have. I have in a video that I filmed today. I, have, I haven't posted it yet. I'm gonna post it tomorrow. But I have uh, fed and well, I have sold Ambrosia to a ghost in the video that I'm gonna post tomorrow. So I'll show you that tomorrow. It's kind of cool. Um, the the ghost autonomously came to my shop as well. I didn't even have to like do anything to get it to come here. There's not ghost pizza, it's, um, you can sell Ambrosia though, obviously, and part of the other aspiration is to sell Ambrosia to a ghost. Let me show you, it's the last thing. Resurrect a ghost by selling Ambrosia. <laughs> it was kind of fun, I made a lot of money off of it too. Okay, take a shower. Well, I need to make the pleasantly unpleasant waffles still, and I need to make a prepped ingredient using a stand mixer with at least one upgrade. So that part I should be able to do really easily. Oh my god. Because I my stand mixer is upgraded. Can't wait to feed alien pizza to your alien sim. See, that's gonna be fun. Okay, prep ingredients. Let's make... Honestly, just make some dough. That shouldn't be too bad. Come on. No! Oh my god, stop! <gasps> I was trying to grow trash fruit. And she picked it up. What if we just got it from Debug? I guess I could. We did try to get in. Everybody close your eyes. If you don't like cheating, close your eyes. What cheating? I would never cheat. Don't be ridiculous. What? Cheating. I've never cheated before. I got a trash fruit! Look! Oh my god, it grew! What, maybe I'll plant it. Here, this will make it a little better. I will- oh, there's a bunch. <laughs> oh, look how many they gave me! That's pretty good. Anyway, I was gonna say, maybe I will plant it, and then we have to wait for it to grow, because that seems more fair, right? 
I think so. Oh good, it's in season. <laughs> Great. <laughs> hey Caroline, thank you for the sub, by the way. Tier 2, 30 months. Oh my goodness. Okay, you guys can look now. I've never cheated before, so. Wow, it grew so fast. Look, it's right there. Oh my god, that's so cool. Wow. <laughs> oh, it does grow really quickly. Okay. We're gonna have to do a little bit of, um... Maybe I should try and socialize with someone. I liked Kim, the grocery shop owner. Maybe I can invite her over and talk to her. She was nice, and I'm lonely. I love tiny houses. Everything just goes so fast in a tiny house. Um, Sarah, you don't have to prep dough to, to make pizza, but if you prep dough, the pizza cooks faster. And it's also like cheaper to make the pizza because you don't have, you have the ingredients. Uh, but you you can do it without prepping the dough, but there are benefits to prepping the dough. I've kind of done both <laughs> Over the the past day or so I've like gone through phases of prepping and also not prepping. Okay I'm gonna start a food sale. I'm gonna try and clear out all this stuff that I've got I think that'll be good We don't have any dough. Maybe we could try, what if we started planting some of the alien fruits that we have? Okay, so hear me out. What if I plant this? It's Friday, so it's almost out of season, but... Oh, I got given some mushrooms, that's nice. Maybe I'll come plant this though, because then we can try and... What if we made like a whole... Stop talking to me! Oh, it's in the middle, sorry. What if we made a whole business selling the strange pizza? Thoughts on that? Okay, back to the stand. Let's go. Ten to the table. No, TJ, this isn't a new world. This is uh, this is Copperdale. Um, does it is it like ringing a bell now? The one from high school years. That's where like the bubble tea thrift shop is. We're sort of right near it. Was this house a new build? Yeah, I, I built this on stream pretty quickly this morning. Or this morning, it was like 4 p.m. <laughs> I built it on stream pretty quickly when I first went live. Is what I meant to say. In the beginning of the stream, that's where the morning part comes from. Um, yeah, but we started, we did that earlier. Spent like maybe 40 minutes. I, I didn't do like a, a big long build or anything. I just wanted to mess with the new kitchen stuff mostly, to be honest, because it looks so cute. Like, look at that. Isn't that so good? Look at them all eating my pizza. This is so fun. <laughs> Concerned Abe tweeted? Tweeted what? Oh, flirty introduction. Don't do that. <laughs> tweeted what, Christine? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. <gasps> this is more than I thought! This is more than I thought, more than I thought, more than I thought! Hold on, you guys, I'm pulling it up. I got you, don't worry. Okay, Concerned Ape is the person who makes Stardew Valley. If you play Stardew Valley, you're gonna be excited right now. Let's talk. 1.6 update, sneak peek, still in development. A new major festival, two new mini festivals, new late game content, which expands on each of the skill areas, new items and crafting recipes. We're seeing like, you see some of these things? There's some little teasers. Joja alternatives to some of the end game quests, a hundred plus new lines of dialogue, winter outfits for the villagers. A new type of reward for completing billboard requests. Support for eight player multiplayer. Many small additions and adjustments. New farm type and new secrets and more. Oh my God, this 1.6 is so much bigger than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> I just made my day. Oh my God. Sorry, I'm replying to Concerned Ape's tweet. Don't mind me. That's so fun. Okay, sorry. Sorry, had to take a moment there. This is The Sims. We got big Sims news today also. <laughs> Let's focus on The Sims for a second. Yeah. 
If if you don't play Stardew Valley, by the way, uh, and you have maybe been considering it or you haven't heard of it, Stardew Valley is a really, really fun farming simulation game. It's also extremely cheap compared to a lot of other games. It's only $15. Sometimes games are $60, you know? So it's a pretty good price. And, and it was all made by one guy. That guy who tweeted, he made the entire thing. The entire thing. So it's really fun. I've got like maybe a thousand hours in Stardew Valley. I really enjoy it. Um, it's a it's a really good game. It's on Switch, it's on PC, it's on mobile. Like if you're looking for a new game to play, I honestly think you might really like it. Um, if you like The Sims, it's obviously not a life sim game, but I think the kind of person who likes The Sims generally also likes this sort of game. So um, I think you'll probably like it if you've been thinking about it. <laughs> Melanie, thanks for the sub gift to SimGuru Ninja, by the way. That's so kind. Um, yeah, I play on PC. I, I've been playing on playing it before um, Switches even existed. So uh, I don't really play it on Switch. I do have it on my Switch because I bought it again. Um, but I, I don't really play on Switch. Mostly I play on PC. It's on like every platform. Console, like it's even on Tesla. If you, ha if you maybe happen to have a Tesla. <laughs> I don't know why you would, but if you maybe happen to have a Tesla, it comes preloaded onto Teslas um, as like one of those games that you can play um, when the car is charging. So <laughs> when we say that you can play Stardew Valley on everything, we're not kidding. It's literally on everything. Everything. And that's not not a joke. <laughs> I love that. I love that meme where you say it's on everything, even Tesla. Like what the heck? Stardew Valley, not The Sims. The Sims is not. That's not. No. It is on mobile, Meggy. It is on mobile. Yeah. You can play Stardew on everything. We made 1,312 simoleons that time around. That was pretty good. Alright, I need to make pleasantly unpleasant waffles and make a prepped ingredient using a sandwich with at least, with at least one upgrade. I thought I did- Oh, I never collected it! Oh my god, Kayla. Get it together. Okay, that counts. So we just need the pleasantly unpleasant waffles. And to make those, we need uh, the trash fruit and obviously the batter. I don't have the trash fruit or the batter yet. I can make the batter now. We'll start there. Uh, go, go, Crispy. Thank you for the sub gift. Panda too. Thank you so much. Okay. Okay. What's the thing glowing in the dirt? Oh, um, I think that that's because the world is is that does no that's the lot trait it's the lot trait right is that from um this or is it from the tiny house i don't know i think it's the great soil lot trait though we have the great soil lot trait so i think that's why it's happening i don't really play with lot traits that often so i kind of forget sometimes <laughs> I kind of forget sometimes. Okay, maybe we could start working on, because I can't make those waffles yet. Maybe we could start working on the other aspiration, the market one. Run a food sale from a residential lot. Well, you're in luck. <laughs> can I stop it and start it again so I can, this counts as one? Come on. Yeah, that counts as one. <laughs> Okay, we'll run one from a different lot next, too. For this aspiration, we have to earn 500 during a single food sale, tend a food stand for more than six hours, sell a poor quality item for 100 simoleons, resurrect a ghost by selling ambrosia, earn 10,000 simoleons by completing sales, and sell one meal for 300 simoleons. There's a lot to do. Much to do, much to see. It's kind of cool, though, isn't it? That one task seems like a big ask, right? The ambrosia thing kind of seems like a lot to me, but whatever. I did do it. Let me see if I can show you guys. Um, this is this is spoilers, okay, for the video I'm going to post tomorrow on YouTube. Um, but that's all right. Are you going to be offended? No, you won't. I did do it. Uh, let me find this. I managed to get some ambrosia and I started selling it. Look. So please don't play any audio, but I had the ambrosia sold. I didn't even invite the ghost here. He just happened to show up. So I was like, this is my time. 
this is my time. <laughs> um, so I, I got, honestly, I got Ambrosia off the gallery, um, but I put it for sale and I had this marked up 300%, okay? Just you wait. Plus 40, plus 40,000. So I got 80,000 simoleons all at once from the ghost buying the Ambrosia. And then when the ghost eats it, obviously he comes back to life. That's just how the Ambrosia works. <laughs> but I made so much money off of the Ambrosia. <laughs> and I didn't even have to invite him here. He just came. I, I think that it might normally be kind of difficult to get a ghost to come to your store, but he just showed up. So it was not even that hard to get it. So maybe, maybe they've made it so ghosts come to the stores. I don't know. But, yeah. Sure. Maybe the Ambrosia attracted him. Or maybe I put the Ambrosia because he was there. I can't remember if I, if he showed up. So I was like, oh my god, I'm gonna get some Ambrosia. I think that he showed up and I had, I was like, quick, get Ambrosia. Because he was already there, if I remember correctly. But I don't know, I have only seen that one ghost. We haven't seen a ghost today yet. But I also don't have that aspiration part unlocked. Maybe they made it more likely, I don't know. Which I don't know. We'll have to see. Anyway, I was kind of excited about that. <laughs> it was pretty fun for me. Sell Ambrosia on my legacy lot? Oh my god, on my like big giant graveyard? Could you imagine I started selling it? And we just have like Sims autonomously come try and buy it? Selling Ambrosia is a surefire way to get really rich, by the way. We do have Ambrosia in the Legacy Challenge. So if I really wanted to, I could sell it. Okay, well, I think I'll just go to bed, honestly, because tomorrow I have to go host a sale somewhere else. Because I want to try and finish the Aspiration. And I still, need my, I still need my trash fruit to grow. Oh, look! Okay, the trash fruit is grown, so it'll probably start fruiting soon. That's a really weird way of putting it, but I think the trash fruit's gonna start fruiting soon. And I'm gonna send you away, honestly. This is part of the problem. I unlocked the door because of my party, but one of the problems that I have with doing them on my home lot is the sims kind of stick around. Which isn't really the end of the world, but it's also not the best. Even if they're not in your house, they do kind of stick around a little bit. So. Oh, Karmic, we're gonna use the trash fruit to make trash waffles. We're gonna make, um these pleasantly unpleasant waffles. Strawberry sweetness and trash fruit pungency is the most delicious combination known to sim kind. It's also the most disgusting thing you've ever tasted. Curiously, the experience changes from bite to bite. Will it fill you with pure bliss or burning rage? There's only one way to find out. So, and I assume that these hearts desire waffles put your sim in a flirty mood because it says that. I don't have any pomegranates though. And no, well, so the pizza can spoil on the stand, but the stand kind of counts as like a fridge. Um, and so it doesn't spoil that quickly on the stand. It's like it's refrigerated when it's on there, which is good. So it can spoil, but only after a while. I think it lasts like three days or something total. They, these have only a day and 12 hours left, but it lasts quite a while before it spoils. Who puts their plates on the toilet? Also, ignore the stink in the wall. I know it's there. I'm, le I'm leaving it be on purpose. <laughs> I'm leaving it be on purpose. <laughs> Wildflower, Chanel, thank you for the subs. Okay. Get some leftovers. It's only 5 a.m. Then take a shower, I guess. I don't know. Neighborhood brawl. Oh, maybe we could get into a fight on this holiday. That's sure to get some new customers. <laughs> that seems like a great idea. Is this ready for me yet? Oh, <gasps> yay! Okay, I'll wait on that because I know that there's some ads playing right now, so I won't harvest it without them. I'll wait. I'm like my sim sleep in a little bit longer too. Um, my social's kind of low. Maybe I'll invite over Kim again, too, so I can fix that. Okay. Come along, please. Did my sim get bitten by a vampire? No. No, we did have a disappointing drink, though, apparently. Maybe I could fight Kim. Does that really not get my social up? Oh, it did a little bit. I don't know. 
I don't know. I'm just trying to fix it a little. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Kales, thank you for the sub gift, by the way. I appreciate that so much. Thank you. Alright, 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 alright. The odds are finished. You know what this means? It means we can harvest our trash fruit. This is a really big day for us. Is that quill fruit? Hold on, you guys. Oh my god, it's ready to be harvested! <laughs> oh wow, it's ready! Okay, I got my trash fruit. This is big. Okay, what I'm going to do now, here's my idea. I'm just gonna put all this food in the house, because I don't really want the cheap pizzas. I'm gonna sell only extremely expensive pizza, okay? Open this. We have, oh my god, we have a lot of food in there. I know you can't see, but look, there's like a ton of pizza in this thing. I'm gonna keep the good pizza that I have, this curious pizza. Um, I'll keep that, oh, oops. I'll keep that inside of there. I would like to sell that. And I'm also going to make some of the other good stuff. Like, I'm going to bring this with me and I'll go... Oh. Take that out. I'm going to go do a food stall. So, hello? Clear the table. Oh, there's a dirty pizza box there. Sorry. I didn't notice it there because <laughs> it was empty. Okay, we can go make that stuff then. This is exciting. I'm going to... Maybe Oasis Springs. Let's go to the park in Oasis Springs and sell some pizza. Oh, Dizzy, hi, thanks for coming by. I thank you for being nice to you. That was really kind of you to say. Yeah, I'll change the aspiration back. Don't worry, I won't forget. <laughs> we have to make sure we don't, uh, we don't miss out on our trash waffle opportunities. Oh yeah, it's way brighter here. This is a way better experience. Get rid of this dirty pizza box. Okay. I have my pizza. I have my waffle maker. I'm going to put this here and I'm going to start a food sale. Come on. So this sells for, oh, it sells for 392 simoleons per slice. Just as I wanted. Okay. I'm going to put it back to the food one really quick because I want to make the pleasantly unpleasant waffles. We have the bat of the trash fruit and the strawberry, so we can make that now. Yes! <laughs> aspiration completed! So we got the batch cook aspiration. And guess what? That means if we have, if we use um, any of the prepped ingredients, we get extra servings of the prepared meals. So we get like bonus servings with that, with that reward trait that we just got from finishing the aspiration. Duplicates of any recipe we cook with prepped ingredients. This has prepped ingredients, right? So I should get extra? I think so. Oh my God, look at them. That's so cute. Oh my god, Copper Prince. Copper says idea, low quality puffer fish stand. If you make low quality puffer fish from, from city living and you sell it in a stand, you could kill Sims. I need to write that down. My Sims too high skilled right now for that. So we can't do that. But that's that is definitely an idea. We can try and we can try and kill some Sims that way. Okay, let me put this out. <gasps> Look, I got double. Oh my god! So I got two stacks of that just then, because my reward trait. Oh, that's so good. <laughs> Look, someone just bought a slice, and I got three hundred and ninety-two simoleons. <laughs> How is that so easy? I'm so happy right now. Okay. The pack release is tomorrow. Yeah, the waffles are all heart-shaped, yeah. Um, every single one of the waffles is heart-shaped in this game. Oh, I have some spoiled mushroom waffles too. 
Let me get rid of this. Eleanor? Oh my god, leave me alone! I don't even have a kid! Ridiculous! Okay, give a sales pitch. I don't know why you guys are spending this much money on my stuff. This is kind of ridiculous. You're like spending way too much money. <laughs> It really can't even be that good. Okay, she should get double of this too because of my reward trade. That's so good. Uh, that is so good. I'm so relieved. We're making so much money off of this now. Yeah, look. Elle's efficient use of preps ingredients allowed her to cook extra meal servings. You can find them in Elle's inventory. Uh, I'm gonna end this. I have this problem sometimes where I can't get it to like stock the food table, but I'll just start the, the stand over. I need to sell a poor quality item for a hundred simoleons. Do you think that I could make myself like in a bad mood? No. I might need to work on that tomorrow to finish this aspiration. And then we have to resurrect a ghost. We have a lot to do for this second aspiration. <laughs> Um, Adam, I will do a pack giveaway of this pack, but not today, because the pack's not out yet. <laughs> so, we can't give it away yet, but I can give it away tomorrow on stream, once the pack is out. Does that make sense? I just- I just can't do it yet, because the pack's not out. As I know you understand. Oh, wait! My Curious Pizza is poor quality! Oh, if they buy that, I'm gonna get my thingy. I didn't notice it was poor quality. Oh! Well, as soon as they buy a piece of pizza from me, I'll- it'll count as being poor quality, right? Sorry. Quality poor. Quality poor. So I sh that should count as me selling a poor quality item for 100 simoleons. It's poor quality alien pizza? Buy my poor quality alien pizza. Surely they have bought it already. Why isn't it counting? I feel like it should have counted. It says it's poor quality. I know that it's not glitched because it worked earlier. Can I just say it worked? It should count. It's over a hundred simoleons. It. It counts. You think it's the markup? That doesn't make any sense. I've marked it up all the way. You guys, I did this earlier and it worked. And earlier I sold like a baked potato or something. You don't need to sell the whole pizza. I think that it glitched. Cause it did work before. Like I, I did this like six hours ago and it worked. Sell one meal for 300 simoleons. See, I just sold one for 300 and it didn't work either. Well now I've glitched the aspiration by cheating it. <laughs> it says that I've earned zero out of 10,000. When I did this earlier, it, um, it started counting even though I wasn't, it like counted what I had sold to date, even before it started. I need to reload, I think, but I'll wait until the food sale ends. Trog and Kia and Mims, thank you for the subs. When'd she make that time? <laughs> Poor quality cheese pizza. No. <laughs> no, <laughs> absolutely not. Well, I've made a lot of money. Like, look, we have 10,000 simoleons. I had like zero yesterday. Maybe it doesn't work over 100. No, it does. This is the thing. I, I filmed a video this morning where I finished this aspiration, no cheats. Well, I, I got Ambrosia off the gallery, but other than that, <laughs> I filmed a video this morning where it didn't glitch. So I, I think that maybe me cheating a little bit messed it up. Um, did I build this lot? No, this is uh, the base game park. But yeah, it should have worked. I don't really know why it wasn't. There's a random sim making pizza. Okay. How long did it take to achieve it? Oh, like... Nah, little over an hour when I got the Ambrosia off the gallery. If I had to make the Ambrosia, it would have taken longer. But I got the Ambrosia off the gallery, so... I did not have to. Yeah, I think I just need to reload the lot or something to fix the aspiration. I do have a mod installed right now, so that could definitely be hurting it. 
Oh, maybe maybe the other Sim made that other poor quality cheese pizza too. Cause I would never make a poor quality meal. Charisma level nine. I'm a notable newcomer. I made 7,000 simoleons from that sale today. Oh. <laughs> that was so easy. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna reload and we'll go back home and we'll see what happens. That was so good. See, when you start making the expensive stuff and you mark it up really high, you make so much money doing this. It's actually really fun. It's really, really fun. Oh yeah, see, if you need to, um, if you need to sell poor quality stuff, your super sim, I guess, can't make the poor quality food because of all the like skills and reward traits, but if you have like someone else make poor quality food, you should be able to sell it and it would count, I think. All right, well, I'll just put this back then and I'll get all my food back in it. Oh, this batter that I have is spoiled and I didn't notice. Maybe that's why some of my stuff was turning out bad. <laughs> Oopsies, my bad. Yes, okay, so that updated. It counted the 10,000. That's so interesting how that works. Maybe I'll just start another food sale right now because I'll be able to get the 300. Okay. See if anyone comes and buys my stuff. And then we have to resurrect a ghost by selling Ambrosia. All right, well, I guess after this, as soon as they buy my thing, maybe I'll start working on uh, trying to get the Ambrosia. Come on, buy my good pizza. Buy my good pizza. Give sales pitch. Bold pickup. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I don't want to. I don't want to flirt with you. Give sales pitch. It is glowing. Look, it glows. I guess that makes sense. It is called Curious Pizza. That's kind of like the whole thing, I guess. Yay! Okay, that counted. So, officially, I can close the food stand. We need to resurrect a ghost by selling Ambrosia still. <laughs> but I can't make Ambrosia yet. Uh, I'm not even close, actually, to making Ambrosia. And people were saying that they want to test out a lemonade stand. So, maybe you all, having seen some things that I haven't, because I've been live, you might have some people talk about this already that I haven't seen. I am... From my understanding, there is some cross-pack compatibility with the backyard stuff pack. Is that just, like, having a lemonade stand? Is that the cross-pack compatibility? Or is there something else that I don't know about? Because there's, like, the lemonade thingy where you can get the drink tray, and then I assume you can sell lemonade, and then it's, like, lemonade stand, but... I don't know. I think that might be it. That's all I can picture happening, but maybe you all could tell me. You can sell nectar. Yeah, you can sell nectar on it. That is confirmed. Um, okay. Okay. They're all gone now. Juices from Eco. I haven't tested that, Christine, but... Ah! 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 Help! 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 I'm being attacked! I'm being attacked! Oh my god! Do they even sell blood? Maybe you can sell blood. This is so inconvenient. I'm so busy right now. <laughs> okay, well. I've been attacked. That's fine. Um, yeah, I, I assume you can sell the juice from Eco Lifestyle, though, because you can sell the wine and then, or the nectar, sorry. Okay, she's gonna pass out now. What are you doing going outside to pass out? Well, that's just not smart. Can you sell the candles? Well, you can sell candles from Eco Lifestyle on the Eco Lifestyle selling table. You don't need to use the, the one from this pack. This one is very focused on food, um, but you don't need to sell the candles on this because you can sell it already just from regular Eco Lifestyle stuff. Okay. Um, I 
guess I'll sleep in as long as we can. And then I'll get some food. Get leftovers. Cool. Fun. Use bathroom. Take a shower. I don't know. Meat wall. Food stand. You... You could. You could do that. <laughs> I suppose if you wanted to. <laughs> Lady and Looney and Anonymous and Rai and Track. Thank you for the subs, everybody. Okay. Um, let's test a couple of those things then. So we're talking about the, um, the, well, wait, let me put this in my inventory. Oh, it broke in the rain. The pizza oven doesn't break in the rain, but the stand mixer and the waffle maker do. You know what won't break in the rain? Lemonade. Oh, oh. I'm sorry. 660 simoleons? No, you must be mistaken. Now it says 528. I'm very confused. I'm extremely confused. Any ideas on that? Can I get you to buy from that? Buy the summer drink tray. Please? No, that's not it. Buy the summer drink tray. Maybe I have to make the pitcher first and then drag it? Mix lemonade. Come here. I was confused about that. Maybe you can put it up there, but only when it's full. I'm confused by that. Yeah, it does build the entrepreneur skill, Hope. Um, I'm level four right now from it. Summer drink tray. Summer drink tray. Yeah, they said that I think the kids can tend the stand um, and sell lemonade, but I don't really know how it works. I haven't done it yet. Maybe if I put these down. And then, let me try and restock this table. I found when you restart the food sale, it'll probably sell now. I think it'll sell now. If you do it like that, it should sell just fine. Sorry, this is all very much an experiment. I don't really see myself selling drinks on this. I, I more so see myself using this for food. But I guess if you wanted to do the mixology skill, you could like, you could like make drinks and sell them that way. Sells the whole trigger, pretty sure. Yeah, I'm confused by that. I'm really confused by that. But we have the... They can buy these drinks. They did buy some of these drinks. Yeah, and from my understanding, the kids can tend this when they tend it alone. They can't help tend it, but they can tend it alone. So you can't have, like, two people doing it with the kids, but the kids can do it alone if you want them to. I don't have a kid in my household right now, but... If you had a scout kit, you could sell Girl Scouts. Oh, that would be so cute. You can make a cookie stand and like only sell cookies. I could have Stanley Humphrey only sell hot dogs. <laughs> yeah, they bought my lemonade. They're, they're eating it up. They kind of like it. That's cute. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. Who of these Sims needs to die? So easy. Not even a question. Jeffrey Landgrab, you must die. <laughs> There's no question to it. You are the one that has to die. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> okay, how do you all suggest I kill him? I guess I could buy something. We could do it for real. Maybe I'll get a shark pond. What did he do? Oh, well, I mean... Eat the rich and whatnot. And in this case, I'm taking eat the rich extremely seriously because I'm going to feed him to the sharks. Yeah, he didn't really do anything, but he will die. Anyway, I need him to die so that I can, it's really important because I want to resurrect a ghost by selling ambrosia. So I need to get a ghost. When I did this in my YouTube video, I haven't posted it yet. I'm going to post it tomorrow. But when I did this in my YouTube video, ah, 
Wrong Sim! Wrong Sim! Oh my god. That was so scary. <laughs> when I did it in my YouTube video, I didn't even need to make a ghost. A ghost just came to my stand, but... Anyway. I'm gonna get him dead so that I can resurrect him. Okay, what are you doing? Oh, you're upset. Yeah, you did get eaten by a vampire yesterday, so I get it. Come on, Jeffrey, it's time to die. You know, there's a lot of people here. I don't, I probably shouldn't have this many witnesses. He does get fitness skill from jumping in the pond, yeah. Hmm. What did I come back to? Oh, nothing. I'm just trying to kill a sim so that I can resurrect him. That's all. It's totally fine. I'm uncomfortable now, so the chances of me dying are higher. It could happen any second. Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> this is so bad. Jeffrey, you're making this too difficult. I just want you to die. Is that too much to ask? Please. <laughs> Tessa, thanks for the prime sub. Thank you so much. It's not, oh, oh, sorry. We're just, we're just uh, ghosting him. We're not murdering him. That's all. That's right. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. What I'm doing is I'm feeding my pets. Why is he taking so long? Sometimes you die first try. This is really stupid. I've been doing this for way too long now. Can you sell his grave on the new table? You know what? I don't think so, unfortunately. I don't think so. Is she ending stream? I always assume when she's killing Sims it's almost over. No, no, no. I need to kill him and then bring him back to life. Okay. Hey, Jeffrey, you're so notorious that one of my unscrupulous friends has been asking to meet you. Can I give them your number? That's my son. Trying to give my number to, to some scary friend. He's- Jeffrey's married. Okay, Malcolm. Die, 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 die. Oh my god, I might need to take matters into my own hands a little bit here. This is almost like getting ridiculous. This is so unlucky. I'm just, I'm, at this point I have to, oh, okay, I got it. I was gonna say at this point, oh no, his wife is right there. Sorry, <laughs> sorry. Oh dear, that's not good. Okay, well. I just wanted a grave. I don't know. Yay! Oh good, okay, perfect. Now I have that. I'll just get rid of this for now. I don't really feel bad for her. I also don't think that she cares that much, to be honest. Okay, bye. Um, I guess my sim can come get some food. Get leftovers, why don't you? Yeah, she's faking it. I don't think she cares. Why? Why? I might need to reload quickly. <laughs> Let me just see. Let me just see really fast if I can reload this and it'd be fine. Uh-oh. Where did the sharks go? Oh, I put them in my backpack. <laughs> oh, oh, they're just in my backpack. That's all. Don't worry. <laughs> also, I've seen a bunch of you come in and ask, so I'll show you again. This is the lot that we're on. It's in Copperdale. Um, we're here in like the downtown area, sort of, in the high school years world. That's where I'm at right now. <laughs> kind of confusing, a lot of people don't recognize it, but that's where I was. Okay. Married her for the money anyway? Yeah, that's true. Well, now I've got my Jeffrey. So that'll be step one. I'm gonna need, a, need to convince him to buy stuff from my food stand. The next question is, chat, 
Are you interested in speed running Ambrosia in the next 15 minutes? I can't make any promises that I'm gonna be able to achieve that. Or we could just get it off the gallery. Like, do we really want to go and fish for an angelfish? Probably not. You know? Do I want to try and max the gourmet cooking skill? Probably not. I'm level two. Who is the official timekeeper? Well, I have to get off stream in 15 minutes-ish. Because Dan's not home, and I have to take care of all the cats. There's a large number of cats, and the poor kittens have- they're all having a bad day. Snappy had to go to the vet. The poor kittens weren't allowed to play outside of the room too much because Snappy was having a bad day, and I didn't want to ruin her day more by letting her have to see kittens. So basically, it's just the cats need human interaction, <laughs> and Dan's not home right now, so I, I can't stay on stream too long. You can blame the Sims team for- releasing or giving early access to the pack when they said they weren't going to because they literally listened to this right they said no early access i said okay that's fine i'll just um i'll we'll play it on thursday the vet said okay we need to see snappy for a follow-up appointment two weeks after her dental surgery that was supposed to be tomorrow i said oh can you do it on wednesday instead because i'm busy and then we got early access to the pack so Turns out I should have done it tomorrow, <laughs> but I did it today. So <laughs> basically it's been a long day. <laughs> the way that I literally changed an appointment as well. How does this always happen to me with the Sims packs? It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. They may have not known if they could pull off early access first, at, like straight away. And then they learned that they could. So then they changed it, but it did. Um, yeah, <laughs> it was bad. <laughs> I swear they've got like live access to my schedule because the pack was announced on the day that Snappy had the vet appointment originally, right? Um, anyway, it's fine. It's not that big of a deal. It's just kind of funny. But basically I wasn't planning on streaming a long time tonight. I wasn't supposed to stream at all right now. I was supposed to stream in the morning today. <laughs> I'm not mad. I'm glad I got to play with the pack, but it's just like the schedule got kind of thrown off. So that's why I can't stay on late, basically. <laughs> We will be here tomorrow. I'll play some more tomorrow, though. I'm not sure what we'll do tomorrow, because we played with the pack today. Like, pretty much played through all of it. So maybe tomorrow we can work on a big build or something. I don't know. That might be fun. There's preps ingredients under the mixer. Oh, no, there, it keeps being spoiled food underneath the mixer. They keep putting food there. Codes for pack. Well, I don't have any giveaway codes right now, but I will have I will have some giveaway codes tomorrow. Um, I'll, I'll do a giveaway of the new pack tomorrow. That's the plan. Um, I can't do that right now, though, because the pack's not out. <laughs> so, tomorrow, tomorrow. It comes out, uh, the pack should release at, like, 1 p.m. Eastern time tomorrow. At least they usually do. I don't know if they've officially said that, but that's sort of what happens every time, so. We haven't looked at all of the waffles yet. Maybe we could, um, make a couple more of them quickly. Oh, and then I can get some ambrosia. Okay, Ambrosia. We have a couple things that we must do. First, I must get some Ambrosia. 2,500 simoleons to get this. Yeah, a banana split waffle does sound kind of tasty, doesn't it? Oh dear. Okay. Okay. Um, put that in there. Sell that. As soon as the waffles are done, I'll open this up. Can I, like, call forth the ghost? Start food sale. Okay. Collect the waffles. Do you think that I can trick Jeffrey into buying the waffles off me? Or the ambrosia off me? I can. Look. 12,000 simoleons plus the 300% markup. That 12K doesn't count the markup. Convinced to buy Ambrosia. Watch this. Hopefully I can convince him to buy it. No, no, no. No one else better buy this, I'm serious. No, not that. 
Convinced to buy. No, wrong thing. I keep clicking the wrong thing. Oh my god. <laughs> Convinced to buy Ambrosia. Nobody else better buy this. I'm serious. Wait, someone bought it. Who bought it? Who bought it? No! You're not even dead! Oh my god. He's gonna eat the ambrosia and then die. No, he dropped the ambrosia. <laughs> See, it's a good thing I didn't go to great lengths to make the ambrosia. Cause imagine if I had. Well, now he's dead. Anyway, I sold for 40K, isn't that pretty good? <laughs> 40K we got from that. And they're still buying food from me right now. Okay, I'm gonna try again. Why did he die? Oh, cause he bought my ambrosia so I killed him. He paid me 40,000 simoleons so I killed him. Cause he paid me 40,000 simoleons. I'm gonna try and close this and reopen it really quickly. Maybe I can convince Jeffrey to buy this now. Convince to buy ambrosia. I had a way easier time with this when I recorded it for my YouTube channel. I'm serious, like a way easier time. Oh my god, uh, what is wrong with you? <sighs> yeah, Leah, we actually did gain a little bit of fame from the food stand today. I wasn't really expecting that, but we did gain a little bit of fame. Stop, I am not a new parent. Oh, I'm so stressed out right now, convinced to buy ambrosia. I guess I could invite this ghost too. Call forth that ghost if I have to. Oh my god, stop crying, Jeffrey. You're being so dramatic. What is wrong with you? What makes you think that's available for sale for you? I'm so upset right now. What's Ambrosia? Oh, it's one of the most expensive things and fanciest things your Sims can make out of everything. Uh, and it brings your Sim back to life. It can it can uh, bring a Sim, a ghost Sim back to life. It takes a lot to make though, like level 10 of both cooking skills, a whole bunch of ingredients. Um, so it's it's certainly no easy task to get it. Can you call forth those ghosts, please? Oh, good, okay. Let's try this again. Yeah, I had a way easier time in the YouTube video. You'll see when I post it tomorrow. It was like no problem trying to get the ambrosia to sell for that. Um, delete that. I guess I could get a few, but it's more fun to kill them one by one, isn't it? <laughs> so maybe I'll just kill them one by one. <laughs> Um, stock the table, please. I only have one thing. Oh my god, quick. Collect the meal, collect the meal. Oh my god, quick. I got double of those though, at least. Don't tend the table. Stock the table, tend the table. All right, let me try and get a ghost to buy this then. Ash, how about you? You just spent 40,000 simoleons on my ambrosia, so you probably buy it again, right? <gasps> Yay! I got paid double. This happened to me before too. Okay, so I got paid single when a living sim bought it. I got paid double when a dead sim bought it. So I just made 80,000 simoleons from that. <laughs> and now the dead sim is going to eat it and she's going, or they're going to come back to life. <laughs> I'm so excited. And then we'll finish the aspiration as well. I guess the dead sims are more desperate so they're willing to pay more. It sold for 40,000 and I got it twice, Dika. So I got 80,000. I have 166,000 now because I sold, much, so, sold so much ambrosia. Where'd she, where do they go? Hello? Ash? 
Did I just get scammed? Oh no, they're still eating it. Sorry, I didn't see them there. Yay! I did it! I did it! Resurrect a ghost by selling ambrosia. Look. <laughs> okay, I finished it. We did both of the traits, or both the aspirations today. So we got booth boss from that. So booth bosses can set higher markups and are more successful at convincing customers to buy while using food stands and sales tables. So like the sales tables from Eco Lifestyle, it works on that too. Um, so what I can do by default, um, hello, turn the table quickly. Maybe I'll just close this for a sec. Um, a start food sale. Come on, try again. I can increase the markup by default. The max is 300% with that reward trait. You can mark up to 500%. So I can sell this pizza for 200 simoleons each slice. If I make one of the fancy pizzas, I don't have any dough. I'm actually going to go try that quickly. I'll make some dough. But yeah, you can mark it up even higher. And then the other reward trait from the other, there's two aspirations in this pack. The other one is batch cook. Sims with this trait get duplicates of any recipe they cook with preps ingredients. Oh, we should sell the ambrosia with the 500% markup. Oh my God. This is four ambrosias. Maybe I'll put them down. <laughs> you guys, this is too much. Put that there, put that there, put that there. Forget the dough prep. Come start a food sale. Oh, I'm really excited right now. The markup is right, right? 500%. Okay. <laughs> it's gonna sell for so much money. Okay, I'm gonna try and sell this ambrosia to this sim. much fun <laughs> yeah yeah that was 98,000 were those better quality ambrosia we got 98,000 from each of those are you joking <laughs> I have 530,000 simoleons this is too good this is way too good you don't, who needs mother load when you have this? <laughs> the principal is in labor? Really? Oh. Oh my goodness. I think they are. Ah! Sorry, I just made my mouse faster by accident. Sorry. Scared myself. Started the day with 8K. Did I? Oh my goodness. Sell it to a ghost? We just did. We brought a sim back to life. I finished the... Wow, this is really fun. Okay. Well, let's talk for a second then about final thoughts on this pack. Obviously, I did post a YouTube video um, playing with this today. So you might have seen that already and heard some of this. So I'm going to repeat myself a tiny bit. But um, I feel like this is exactly the kind of thing that I want out of a stuff pack. Like, I, I love kitchen stuff in this game. I'm so, so, so excited to have any new kitchen set ever. I have been asking for more kitchen appliances for ages. Like, I, I keep saying this, but I made an entire YouTube video of like kit ideas that I had. And when I was thinking about gameplay kits and like potential ideas for gameplay kits, we haven't gotten a gameplay kit since the first kit ever. So I don't know if they're gonna do them anymore, but. I had this thought that like, what if there were gameplay kits and instead of like a vacuum cleaner, it was a toaster or a blender and you can make smoothies. So I, I've been like wanting all these small appliances for so long. One of my favorite things in The Sims 3 ever was The Sims 3 store pizza oven. Like this is just like as a combo right up my alley. I've never even considered wanting a stand mixer, but that's so fun. It's also haunted, sorry everyone. Um, doesn't usually float like that. <laughs> 
Um, but I, I just think it's so cool, the prepped ingredients thing, because this sort of impacts your everyday gameplay too, because you can make the prepped ingredients and then use them for regular recipes as well. All the waffles are so cool. And that's not even counting like the sale, the sale part and the, the selling that you can do. I just feel like there's a lot that you can do with this pack and it's, it's both things that affect your regular gameplay, but also is a fun job. And whenever I talk about packs that I like the most, I always talk about things like seasons because it impacts all of my Sims or like now growing together because all of my Sims usually have kids and the milestones are so cool. And this like making the batter and using these ingredients, if you have the prepped ingredients, it reduces the cooking time. So it's just cool because everyone can use the, the prepped ingredients. And I'm, I feel like I'm gonna use this stuff so often in like all of my regular households. This pack is like triple the size, I would argue even like quadruple the size of, of the cool kitchen stuff pack, the old stuff pack. So I just, I'm really pleased with this. I feel like compared to all the other stuff packs, it's by far top two. And comparing it to paranormal, it just depends on what your preferences are. Cause I think that I like this better than paranormal, but I don't really care about like occult sims and ghosts and stuff. I'm more interested in graves than ghosts. <laughs> um, so I, I just, I think it's my favorite stuff pack. Maybe, no, I think Tiny Living is the best stuff pack. And this one is a is second place for me. It's Tiny Living, this one, and then Paranormal for me, I think. Yeah. Cause Tiny Living, I mean, I've been using that all day cause I've been getting double skill gain this whole time for this whole stream. But yeah, I think Tiny Living and then this and then Paranormal are, are probably my stuff pack rankings now. It, Tiny Living has a great value. Honestly, the furniture in it is so good and the gameplay of the tiny house lot type is so helpful. Like I've been getting double skill gain, double relationship gain. My plants grow faster. Like living in a tiny house is just so helpful. But yeah, I'm, I'm really happy with this pack. I'm so glad because I would have been really sad if it was bad. <laughs> so I'm really glad that it's good. I, I'm really, really enjoying it. And the furniture is so cool. The only like kind of eh thing to me is the create a sim stuff but it's not even necessarily bad cast stuff it's just not like standout cast stuff it's not the kind of pack where i would like use these things for like all of my sims because it's like aprons which isn't a bad thing because that's what you would expect from this pack it's just very specific the create a sim stuff is very specific whereas the furniture and the gameplay is a little bit more versatile um so it's nice to have, it's just not like the biggest selling point for me, the creative sim stuff. The hairs are cute. The hairs are super cute, but um, yeah, the rest of it is, is just gonna be probably not used that often by me, I don't think. But anyway, kind of fun to talk about. So I hope that you all enjoyed this. Um, I think I am gonna get off stream here in a couple minutes. I've really had a lot of fun playing with you all tonight, so thank you for doing this with me. I think tomorrow we'll probably play with the pack a little bit more and then maybe do some building with it. We can try and build a, a fancy house using the new stuff because this kitchen set is so cute. So I think we'll try and... I'm having a bit of a personal emergency and I have to leave now. What, because you're going to go... Because you're going to be giving birth? I've never seen that pop up. I'm having a personal emergency. Yeah. I would say so. Marcus Flex? <laughs> oh my god. She's having a baby with Marcus Flex. You, that is an emergency. That is an emergency. Wow. Okay. Anyway, um, tomorrow. <laughs> tomorrow we'll build with the pack. Um, I think I'm also going to have some giveaway codes tomorrow for the pack because it comes out officially tomorrow. So we'll do that. Obviously, thank you to EA for giving me early access and giving me the code so we could play it together today. Um, I always have to have this disclaimer, but like, no, I am not being paid to talk about this pack. <laughs> they, they gave me a $10 stuff pack for free, okay? <laughs> if you believe that my opinion can be bought by a $10 stuff pack, well... <laughs> just so I could play with it a day early also like if I had to I was planning on not getting early access I didn't think we were going to this, this pack so anyway I'm worth more than ten dollars thank you very much gosh <laughs> anyway um I hope that you enjoyed it and I think on that note I'm probably gonna go and find someone to raid I think there's probably a handful of other simmers that are also playing with this pack today so we can go over and maybe try and find one of them um, cause that would be super cool. Yeah, we've made so much money from selling that food. It was, it was really fun. Um, 
Oh, how about this? My friend Shella also has early access to Home Chef Hustle. I think I want to go over there and watch Shella play with it, if that's okay. Let's do that. Let's do that. All right, slash raid, Rochella. If you don't follow her already, you're gonna like her. Um, Shella and I named our Sims the exact same thing, by the way. My Sim was L Baker, and she comes in and she was like, no way, no way. Because Shella named her Sim Ella Baker. How weird is that? <laughs> How weird is that? But anyway, um, have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful rest of your night, everybody. Um, I shall see you tomorrow. I'm gonna post the Rags Riches video on YouTube tomorrow. Um, and then I will also, um, I will also stream with the pack tomorrow. That is the plan. Um, so have a wonderful rest of your evening. Thank you for hanging out. I'm sorry that I'm ending this stream with my sim on the toilet. I didn't really think about that. All you were seeing is just like toilet. <laughs> What a lovely view for the last couple moments of the stream. Okay. Have a great rest of your night. Um, and I'll catch you tomorrow. Okay. Okay. Goodbye, everybody. I'm going to start the right now. Bye.